Right. What's happening, everybody? And welcome to the Pops and Weird Sportscast. We're your hosts. My name is Mr. Whiskers, and to my right is Papa K. How you doing tonight, Dad? Hanging in there. Hanging in there. A little bit of a cold, but yeah, not, nothing to stop me. There you go. I told you, this guy's Superman over here. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I had that cold uh, last week. I had it over the weekend. Kicked it pretty quick. Doesn't stick around too long. Hits hits a little bit tough for about 24 hours to 48 yeah, yeah. hours, and then you're back to normal. Yeah, you hope, especially by Thanksgiving, you know, which is tomorrow. I know. I feel like I always get sick around this time of year. Yeah, me too. November, you know? November. It's, well, I think it's the change of the weather. It goes, remember we had those hot days? 70, 70, yeah. 70, and then all of a sudden, boom, it's down to 40. Yeah. I know. Swift was saying, like, uh, I, I think, uh, you know, it was like 50 degrees today. Today was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We got folded in the chat saying, Mr. Whiskers! How do you know he said that? Yo! Because I'm reading it that way. This guy has time to read in the chat. You know? so, well, that's how I'm reading. I don't know if he said it that way. He could have been like, Mr. Whiskers. That's weird. I'm weird? Yeah. I'm a little weird. A little bit, you know, but hey. <laughs> Why not? Normal can be boring. Cool. Weird is interesting. How you doing, Folden? How's it going? You ready for Thanksgiving? Are you ready for Thanksgiving? Why not? Yeah, whoops. the energy, you, you can see Pops, the energy levels between the two of us mm. are very, I mean, you know, I know when we get into a topic that you really like talking about, it, it, it changes yeah, no. up. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm good, you know, <coughs> I, I don't stuff my face like I used to. When you see me, I eat reasonable now every meal. Yeah. I don't like that, oh, God. <laughs> you normally got to roll me out of the house. What the baby? I'm going to be bringing Tupperware to the mother-in-law's tomorrow. And, uh, let's see, uh, maybe a wheelbarrow yeah. so you guys can carry me out. Yeah, what I'm well, done. I get a stuff in my food face. Food for my doggies. We got Folden saying, Mr. Whiskers is definitely weird. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Folden. Appreciate that. Talking to town this week. It's a compliment. Judge. <laughs> talking to the Giants. Wow, he's talking to the San Francisco Giants. How about that? Downtown. You got Permadirt in the chat saying happy evening, boys. Happy evening to you, Permadirt. How you doing? Yeah, yeah everybody's getting a little scared, but the most sports announcers said the Yankees will not let him go. Mm. Whatever offer he gets from any other team, he says they'll match it or... You know, do better. Oh, better. Yeah. I feel like Judge wants to play for the Yankees, so I don't. I, I just don't feel like he's going anywhere. <laughs> I'm confident in saying that. The only scary part is like that's his hometown. I know. Yeah. But he lives in Lindo, the Yankees, California, something like that. The Yankees have uh, welcomed him in with open arms. Well, he's been their number one pick in their organization from ten you know? years ago. He was their number one pick. We were just listening to Jer uh, what was that Journey before? Yeah. And I feel like if there was a song. That Aaron Judge could sing to the Yankees. It would be, I'm forever yours. Faithfully. <laughs> the shocking part about this, I was watching sports shows today, and they were asking the announcers, what do you think they're going to pay him? You know, gross. And they said, what's... They, uh, they gave it over and under, $350 million, And most of them said under. I'm thinking, I, I think, I'm, I think, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I swear to God, I think he's going to get 400 I don't think, I don't know about, I feel like 400 is a bit high. We got Folden saying, I'm ready to give thanks and thank Spanx for all the spoiled children. Uh, daylight savings is in the evening. <laughs> they gave Trump $440 million. I know, I know, Folden. I can see Judge getting it. Eight years, see, 400 million? See. What does that come to? Hey, what's up, Glove? How you doing tonight? Glove is back too, huh? Glove? Four, 400 million, eight years. What is that? 400 million, eight years? Well, if my math serves me correctly, um... It's 40 million a year? I almost failed math class, actually. Never mind. I think it's 40 million a year. So you said 400 million, eight years? If that's the deal. It would be a little more than that, right? Because yeah. 10 years would make it 40 million. 
Ten years, though. Okay. Right. So it would be, you know, for eight years, you'd probably get, like, maybe 45 to 50 mil. Hmm. Give or take. You know, my numbers... No talk about the ground. My numbers could be a little off. Nothing yet with him. You know, Nothing. Free agency, yeah. Nimmo. Uh, Carlos Correa, I think, is available. Uh, there's a couple of big names out there. Hey, at least we signed Rizzo. You signed Rizzo and, uh, and uh, Judge. I'm very happy. Yeah. Because IKF is not going to be the shortstop. They're going to go with their new kid, Peraza. That they, uh, you know, he's, he was their number one shortstop in the minors. So, what do you do with Donaldson? You got to get rid of him. Well, yeah, I think so. Well, who, who's going to take him at 21 million? It's a very good question. Uh, you know, he'll be 39 years of age by the time the season starts. Obviously, negotiations are going to have to come into play, and uh, you know, there may be a ch- chance that he takes a hit. I don't think he's going to be a Yankee next season. But right now, he is. Looks like he has one more year. Oh, he has one more year. That's right. Yeah, when That's they got right. him from Minnesota, yet last year and this year. We got Mr. Blue Monkey in the chat saying, what's going, Whiskers and Pops? Mr. Blue Monkey. You did great, Blue Monkey. You're in the lead. You went 5-1, and one, you and your wife. You and Ms. Mo. We got Folden saying, I have to get going because, unfortunately, I'm on the grind. Uh, bye now, Folden. We always appreciate you stopping in and saying hi. Keep grinding away, my friend, and take care. Have a happy, happy mean, Thanksgiving. On the grind, like, you know, like, like, uh, like for instance, like, when... When you were working, right? Hmm. And uh, you were working like 10, 12 hour shift, you're on the grind. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Do you know? Or like with video games, like I was playing Resident Evil Reverse all day today. I was grinding it out. Okay. You know? So, I mean, it could be used in, 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 you know, quite a few different ways in that sense, but I think the meaning is the, the same all the way through. By the way, sticking with baseball, comeback player of the year in National League, Albert Pujols. Ooh. Yeah. I wonder if he's going to retire. He said he was going to retire, but... How old is he now? Got to be 40 or early 40s. Early 40 or early 40s? He just, he just went over 700 home runs. So you think he wants to stick around? Palmer Dirt says, Judge is going to fleece the Yanks. Ooh. You mean screwed him? Ooh, Palmer Dirt. I don't think so. Why you got to put those vibes in the air, bro? No, <laughs> it's possible, but I doubt it. I think the Yankees will give him, you know... The key to the uh, to the city hall. <laughs> I think so too. I agree with Pop. Me and Pops don't always agree. I feel like more than not. No, but I think. Uh, but I agree me, with you on that. If he leaves, that's going to affect the Yankee fan base, especially me, big time. Would you watch if he left the Yanks? Are you going to watch him? I probably doubt watching him like I normally would. Yeah. You wouldn't watch him as much. Not even close. Yanks, you heard just Papa K said the ratings are going to drop on his side. You know how much money his uniform <laughs> sells? Didn't you ask Santa Claus for his uniform? I did. I did. Yeah. So. It's an old Saint Nick. I was like, I would like a Judge jersey, home, a home jersey, pinstripes, number ninety nine. Let's go. It's the number one jersey. I've been a good boy this year. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Baby, it's questionable. It's yeah. a flip of a coin. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, come on. Don't tap yourself on the back too. I'm not yeah. perfect. I ain't perfect. I forgot who was the American League player. I heard. Damn it. Let's see. While you're thinking about that, uh, oh, you know, Fold- Judge was the MVP, right? Yeah, she told okay. me that. Okay. Um, Folding says, "I'll see you on Tuesday or Monday or whenever the fuck." <laughs> uh, the schedule might change up a little bit because uh, I have been um, putting. My application out there. I have been filling out applications, so there's a very good possibility I'll be um, working at a new job next week. But uh, we'll always find time to put the Pops and Wiz Sportscast in here, whether it's on my day off or whatnot. The gaming live stream might change up, but of course I will fill everybody in on that as as I learn. You know, it's one of those like to be determined kind of things. Nothing is set in stone yet. TBD. Let's see, uh, Glove coming in. Well done, Mr. Blue. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Blue holding on to first place. Big time. I believe Glove is in second place. Mm-hmm. And Mismo has taken over the third place spot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Oh! Yep. Ah! Go! Yep. That's right. Mr. Roopsy got kicked out of the uh, <laughs> well, the giveaway. Roopsy gives in, uh, shows up tonight, and yep. makes his picks. Mm-hmm. We got all three games for tomorrow, by the way, folks. Which uh, I like all three games. Yes, sir. And then we have three uh, 
pretty big games for the weekend, too. So. It's going to be another tough board. I'm just going to put it that way. You know, we're going to be talking sports tonight. We're going to be talking about Thanksgiving and food. And, of course, Pop's Picks. We got set up right over here. Uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. But uh, let's see. Got uh, Permanent saying he will ask 10 years, 400 mil. You know, I, you know, I feel like he's earned it, though, Permanent. I, I, I wouldn't right? give it to him. You wouldn't give it to him? No, because he's 30. What, what are you going to get out of him? Pool Hall's got, you just said, Pool Hall's got comeback player of the year, and you think he's but in you're thinking defensively, by uh, half of that contract, he might be the permanent DAs because Stanton will be gone by then. Mm. You know? And he won't be playing the field. But who knows? Again, I mean, he's shown what he he's shown that he is worth a lot more than what they offered him. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, he almost nice got money. the he almost got the triple crown. Uh, you know, come on, come on. Uh, let's see. We got Sweaty in the chat saying, "Yo, yo, what's happening, Sweaty? How you doing?" Sweaty, you didn't do so well this week. Yeah, Sweaty, you and I, Sweaty, we both did pretty awful on the pot picks from last week. Uh, you know, it's just, you know yeah. Yeah. we'll you talk about it in a little bit. Yeah. Glove saying, "Come on, Santa, let me join your crew." Well, I, Glove, how you know? How would you like to be of assistance to Old Saint Nick? Have you been good this year? I don't know why all of a sudden, like, I just kind of went into like this almost, you know, fucking got me. Um, where am I going with this, pops? I have no idea. The uh, the the voice that I always impersonate. Sean Connery. Yeah, I feel like I almost went into a little Sean Connery in that chat. <laughs> Thanksgiving football in the house. Sweaty wants to know what his record is, Pops. Hell yeah, Glove. Hell yeah. Oh, it's going to be great. Thanksgiving vibes are in the air. He went 2-4, and four and he is at 6-10. and ten. I went 2-4 and four as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've had yeah. two bad weeks back to back. Pops is catching up to me. Glove this went 3-3. Three and three. He's 24-24. and 24. I told you about Blue Monkey, 5-1. and one. There's more 5-1. and one. Oopsie went two and four, I think. Yeah, Blue yeah. Monkey and Mismo did the best. Yeah, I got well. She picks a lot of the same games as he does, so if he wins, she wins. Yeah, I know, and and, and it, you know, I mean, shit. Yeah. I think I, I need to start going the same route. Permadeur went. Let Mister Blue pick first, and I'm gonna start following his uh, his lead. Permadeur went three and three, so he's thirteen and ten. That's most twenty one. Winning record. Perm. You are thirty nine and twenty one. <sighs> I am 34 and 26. So I'm one game behind uh, Mr. Blue Monkey. Yeah, I know, but you're not competing know, against Chad. You're yeah, competing I, against... I still want to beat him. Oh, the, 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 the black cool. cat of Twitch, the coolest yeah, cat on I'm Twitch. Oh! Ah! Get out! Yep. Anyway, that's... We need to soundproof this room because I feel like I am way too loud. You know, right? Don't bother me. I know, but like when we hit like mega millions, when we win the Power Bowl or something, yeah. I think that's something that needs to be done. Somebody hit the Power Bowl the other day. Not, <laughs> it was a major. I mean, it, it was sixty-seven million. It's major, but it's, it wasn't one point five billion. Yeah, no, it's a lot of money. Permadirt says whatever contract he gets will be four to five years too long, because he was the best player in baseball. I know, and and and, and again, he made sixty-two home runs. If now, I'm, if I'm the Yankees, I'd offer him, like, no more than seven years. Five with a two-year option. I, six I'd go, with a one-year option. I'd go six with a two-year option. Yeah. I, would, I wouldn't give him no. Because, again, I feel like he's been taking great great care of himself. And yeah. this season has proved he can play a whole season but, out without but, getting injured, which was something that you always said he can't stay on the field. No. They showed that. No, no. Well, the one time he had the oblique, but the other time he got the broken wrist, he got hit by a pitch. But think about the Yankee previous <laughs> ag agreements. How did A-Rod wind up when they kept him for 10 years? He was crap at the end. John Carlos Stanton. Yeah, but weren't they, like, drunk on a boat when they signed A-Rod? The, uh, what do you call it? Uh, no, no, that was the owner of Texas when he signed it for Texas. Oh, okay. And then... Okay. Okay. And then, uh, you know, <laughs> My facts. he, uh, you know, at that time he was the highest paid uh, ball player in, in history at the time. But, you know, what are you going to get out of Stanton? Another guy that really can't stay on the field too often. You know, he, he gave you something this year, but he was out for what? Four to four or five weeks? 
at a time, then he couldn't get his swing back, and it was terrible. Well, he improved. That's what, My point is, you don't give guys 10-year contracts when they're already 30 years of age. Sorry. All right. I think I think six years. You, right. want, to, you want to maximize the salary? Give him five years and give him $40 million. I think six years million. are one-year options. I'll go back. I'll say six years, one-year option, depending upon how he does on that sixth year. Right, because that puts him at about thirty-seven. I think the man will still be able to perform at that point. At that at that point in his life, yeah, he can stay healthy. Like I said, Again, he's a big yeah. guy, six seven, you know, two hundred and seventy pounds. Let's see, let's see. We got Sweaty saying, "No, not again." Don't worry, Sweaty. There's plenty of time to still turn it around, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I feel like at this point, just you know, still getting seven games left, being above a five hundred record. Well, seven weeks left. Seven games left. Seven games left. Yeah. Yeah, but we put. What I'm saying is. Seven weeks of football because we put six games on the board right, at the right, time. Right. You can get, but you got to do better. If you're gonna, if you want to catch up now, you got to pick all six games and try to go like five and one, six and zero. Oh. Blow's got one up here. I like. He goes, "That's debatable." Sean Connery is Santa. It's amazing they never tried. Could you imagine that? Ah oh, yes, Merry Christmas, Cindy <laughs> Lou. I see you're on my good list this year. What's your name? The name's Claus. Oh. Santa Claus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you. Bung. 007. Yeah, so if I care, you can refer to me as Jolly Old Saint Nick. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh, that's on the show. The day is mine, Krampus. Krampus? Guy. Was it Krampus? Krampus? Ooh. The, like, evil version of Santa. I have no idea. He had like goat horns. I think oh, he had no. goat horns. Didn't he have goat horns? Krampus. It was Krampus, not Krumpus. Krampus. You never seen Krampus? No. Oh, I gotta show you that movie. You probably hate it. I've though. never seen It's a Wonderful Life. And I Maybe think going. to myself. That's a wonderful world. It's a wonderful world. It's a wonderful life. Jimmy Stewart. Everybody says that's the greatest one of all time. I yeah. gotta watch it this year. It's on like forever. You know what I keep watching? Christmas Home, Carol. Home, Christmas Carol, Home Alone, one and two. Ha. Uh, what's the other one? There was another good one. You know, I, I, uh, I was the inspiration behind Home Alone. Really? Yeah. You no, know, he's I, like 40, you know, 42 years old. I, uh, I tried out for the part. You're full of crap. <laughs> <laughs> you were three when that movie was made. Yeah, I could have done it. They just said my vocabulary wasn't up to par yet. My reading skills were still slacking a little I think bit. He was like ten, maybe. So that's they, 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 was, they said I was reading at a newborn level. Yeah, right. He's like forty. <laughs> Macaulay Culkin, right? That's his name. Yeah. yeah. I think he's forty now. So what is this ageism now? I couldn't have gotten the part because I was Not three. Three, no, no, very rare. I I think that if I would have practiced my lines a little better, I could have gotten there. What do you think, chat? You think I I I could have been No. I could have been <laughs> We could do a remake. I'll come back. Oh, you another know, movie I love Santa Claus. Older, Santa Claus with Tim Allen. There's an older Kevin. Mm. Yeah, that was a that good was one. One of my favorites. We got permanent saying uh problem is Giants might give it to him. Uh Giants will offer ten years. Wouldn't be surprised, right, Perm, right? Just to get him out of New York. Just to stir the pot up a little bit, talking Even, about Judge. What if the Giants, whatever the Giants do, I think the Yankees will do something better to keep him. If it's not the 10 years, they'll give him more money for the 10 years. And I, I really think that because of the season that he had, everybody, because of the season that this man he's had. He's not going to repeat that. I know he's not going to repeat that, but it is, so, it, it is so, a foundation to stand on right yeah. there. Saying, you know, they didn't think that he was going to have the season he had this year. He did. He, he did. I know he did. Obviously, you have to have confidence in yourself. Yeah, and he did. I mean, he refused And he did, contract. and he showed it. He put it out there. He showed everybody. He almost won the Triple Crown, would you say? Four points away? Yeah. Four points away? Come on. I mean. He led in every other category. He's going to get He's gonna get what he wants. I'll feel assists. The two guys out like it was nothing. Or close to what he wants. You know, and I honestly think as long as he keeps himself in good shape, just, you know, and, and one thing I'm confident about is that he's not, not letting any of it, like, get to his head in the sense of, 
Like, I think once a fair deal is put there in front of them, mm-hmm. by the Yankees or by the Giants, I, I, you know. Could be the Dodgers, could be the Mets. Could, yeah. It could oh. be talking. Good. Cohen's got a ton of money. Don't want to give him away to the National League. No, I know that. You don't yeah, want you that. don't want to give away to the Mets. I'm sorry. That would be now, the that would be, Could you imagine nightmare. him and Alonzo batting back to back? That's a dangerous, oh. that's a dangerous Marte. setup right there. Uh, what's the shortstop's name? Who? Uh, no, the, on the Mets now. Lindor. <laughs> you t- you I me? thought you were going to bite on that one. With that lineup, we get it. Let's see. We got uh, Blue Monkey saying, Ms. Blue would like to mention, Mr. Blue and I discuss all uh, the teams in every week because, or not, Ms. Mo is the football guru in the house. Believe, oh, believe it or not, Ms. Mo is the football guru. Oh, so it's not him. Oh, my God. So you're pulling the winds off from her. Ha, 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 Miss Mo, I'm going to have to reach out to you on Discord on what to do with my fantasy football team because I'm, I'm slacking this you season. Can't maybe beat the crap out of me. Yeah. yeah. So what did I go, from last place to, like, not last? Well, well. No, oopsies. Oopsies, oopsies yeah. and dead last. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm probably next to him. <laughs> Oh my God! I, I, I can't even three, imagine what the three, standings are three, right seven, now. I think I am. Woo! You beat you beat me up pretty good. You said it was like one forty to like eighty or something like that. So, it was bad. It was a beat down. My my players went <sighs> off. My players, I can't get nothing out of Diggs. I mean, he, he had a TD, uh, but you know, remember that one game he had? Yeah. He gave me 44 points. Your lineup is like the flip of a coin, though. And I yeah. feel the same about mine, because there are weeks where like, all of a sudden we start getting the points that we need, right, to beat some of the top dogs in our league, yeah. and then they have an even more outstanding week. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I scored 130 points. You're like, yeah, but I beat you, because I scored 200 million. Yeah, that's true. That's Let's true. see. We got Glove saying, Merry Christmas, but Dad, yesterday was... Uh, Glove Clan says, I won't be content until I get a Christmas movie where Pops is forced to dress up as Santa and Wiz is just there as comedic relief. I could be like, I could probably be Rudolph, right, Glove? What do you think? Like, if you're Santa Claus, who could I be? Mm. I could be Barabbas. An elf. Barnaby? Barnaby, yeah. (laughs) From the Santa Claus? I could dress up like that. I'll be an elf. The head elf, though. I, I want to be the head elf. Yeah. If you hire me, I got demands. Yeah, I know. By the way, I ain't getting dressed up as Santa. Sorry. Those days are long gone. I don't think I ever did it anyway. Well, you know... You used to wear a crazy hat, you know, the white hat, but... If I bought you, like, a, uh, a Santa Claus outfit, you wouldn't no. wear it on stream for Christmas? No. no. Hey, you I'm don't have the facial hair right. for it anyway, so... No. I could dye this. I, I could, be, hair I could be Santa Claus. It could be the young, new, hip Santa Claus. Yeah. Oh, my God. Better outside is frightful. Great song. Where the fire is so delightful. Dean Martin, my favorite version. And since we no place to go, watch the show, watch the show, watch the show. Good work. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, Laurie. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, what do you think? <laughs> uh, Blue Monkey, so so Glove was asking Blue Monkey, what do you think, Blue, Mon- uh, Blue Monkey? And Blue Monkey thinks we'd be a box office hit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just like the Jets and the Giants were this past Sunday, huh? Why you gotta Why you gotta come into it like that, pops? I don't do, you, know. do you know what the final total was for the Jets in the second half? You know, you know, he he, he can't be jolly old Saint Nick when he does shit like that. <laughs> two yards. <laughs> when did you ever see a team getting two yards in an entire half? Two yards. <laughs> I've seen teams get negative yards in the first half. Yeah, but the whole half, two yards plus. The Giants was supposed to really beat up on Detroit. The worst defense, second worst against the run. Second one got 22 yards. I could be St. Nick, you could be Krampus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he doesn't give shit. No. <laughs> Blue, it's all fun and games here, though, Blue. Right? I mean, Pops. No, I know. You know. You know I'm only playing around. Fun and games was Sunday. 
It wasn't fun. They didn't play the game. It was a game. <laughs> when do you see Daniel Jones throw 44 times? That was good. That yeah. was good. I like that. 44 times. You know you're not going to win. They couldn't get anything going. No, and their defense was bad. Sorry. Yeah, no. They had an off game. It was just not unfortunate. It was unfortunate yeah. that they had an off game against a team what that was, has been... Hold on. Let me finish my point. They've had an off game against a team that has been struggling this season with the Detroit Lions. But can score. But can score. That's and something that our defense had been known for was stopping teams in the red zone. Ranked second in stopping yeah. teams in the red zone. And let one guy score three TDs. I know. Like you're going to have an off game. This was just, I agree that this was an unfortunate time for them to have an off game because the rest of their schedule does not look good. No. Dude, it looks very challenging. And if they could grab a couple of those games... A lot of people are picking that the Giants might win them, not win another game. No, I think they will. Well, there's still too many games left in the season. The odds of them not winning another well, one, the, your, I think that they're going to win a few more in their division. Here's your schedule. You got the winnable game against the Colts. Definitely winnable. That's why last week was so important to get that eighth win. You got Dallas tomorrow. Odds makers, highly unlikely. They're already 10-point on the doors. You got Philly twice. You got the Commandos twice. That's what? That's a Commandos, Phillies, Dallas. That's five divisional games. Colts, six. So you got uh, one more game. I forgot who they're playing on their last game. Oh, two games. Because there's seven games left. I don't think we end with a divisional game. Mm -mm. Oh, we're going to be playing Philly neck and neck, home and away, real quick. Love and and six. I'm sorry. What were you saying? I said they're playing Philly and the Commanders within like two weeks of each other. I know. It's going to be because we've only faced one team in our division. Terrible this scheduling. It's very own, weird. Your own division, you only played the Cowboys. I know. That's what I'm. That was, that, that's that was, where I'm getting that, at. That was I find playing. that very weird. And now you're going to push uh, two games, Commanders and Philly, and Dallas tomorrow? Come on. Let's see. Uh, Glove says, Hip Santa, actually, my dad already wrote that. As a one-man show years ago. <laughs> uh, Glove saying, not even a joke. He's actually wrote a play called Claws for a Moment a decade ago. Yeah, that sounds... That, 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 that's awesome. It's very interesting. Your dad wrote a play? Dude. Badass. Papa Glove wrote a play, Claws for a Moment. Sounds like pause. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Ooh. Ooh. You remember that cartoon that I got years ago when you were a kid? The Great Act? Oh, one of my favorites. Well, that's not what it was called. No, no. It was we the, called it that. No, no. It was The Adventures of Santa Claus. I yes, yes. That's the actual name of it. The Adventures of Santa Claus. What a great, great. It was a it was a claymation kind of movie, right? Yeah. With voices, and, great oh, voices. Yeah. That one of my favorites. Up there is... If not one of, if not my favorite Santa Claus, uh, a Christmas movie growing up. Yeah, as a cartoon, animated. Yeah. It wasn't even really a cartoon; it was more animated. Well, yeah, it was. It was. It, I think they call that claymation because the characters were made of like yeah. clay. Yeah, yeah. It was a great know? movie. Great movie. Well, it showed the Santa Claus from the beginning as a baby till the end. Yeah, and it was a very interesting take on how he became Santa Claus. Yes, and uh, retained immortality. Let's see, uh, Glove says, yeah, he did stage acting for like 30 years on the side. Holy shit. Wow. We got a superstar. Yeah. <laughs> ah, nice. Oh, my God. Oh, my go. That's great. Holy crap. That's, That's awesome. That, that is really awesome. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. All right, switch, uh, switch of uh, sports. Rangers playing tonight. They won last night. They were on the last uh, road game tonight against Anaheim. I hope they start, you know, playing better. Devils on fire. Yeah. 13 straight. And still not in first place. 13 straight wins and not in first. Boston. Yeah. He's got them beat by two points. Wow. How about yeah. that? I mean, like, <coughs> how... how like, how did the Devils start the season off if they're not in first place with a 13-win streak? They, might, well, they must have been They won here, a little bit. here a little bit, and then they pulled up 13 straight wins. And they're, they're playing right now. They're, they are on fire. they got a good young team. They're getting great goaltending. 
from both their guys. But we'll see. Could you do me a favor, Pops? Because I'm going to use the restroom real quick, but it's a little early to go on break. Yeah. yeah. Um, can you just read off to the chat right now and just let them know what tonight's Pops picks are? Yeah. All right? I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Pops, we'll take it. over. Okay. All right. We have all three games for tomorrow. We have uh, the Bills and Detroit first game, I believe, 1230. Then we have the Giants and the Cowboys around 4.30, I understand. Then we have, I believe it's Minnesota at New England is the night game. God only knows what kind of weather we're going to get there. Then the other three Sunday games are tough ones. Tennessee at Cincy, the Bears at Jets, and the Chiefs at the Rams. You got to remember one thing. I'm going to let you know. The quarterback for the Bears, Justin Fields, more than likely is not playing. He's got a separated shoulder. The quarterback for the Rams might not be playing, which is, uh, what's his name? Uh, Matthew Stafford. I think he's uh, banged up a little bit. So those are the situations right there of quarterbacks. To me, pretty tough games to pick, but oh yeah, we'll see. It's going to be a challenge. I explained to them already who, who's playing and who's not playing as far as quarterbacks. Oh, nice, nice. Pop and K throwing some extra info in there. Well, well I like you, it. You look it up, right? You said that uh, Justin Fields more than likely is not playing with a separated shoulder. Separated shoulder yeah, with torn, torn ligaments, ligaments as well. I doubt if he might be playing for the rest of the year. They're going nowhere anyway. Mm -hmm. I hate to say Sorry, Bears fans. But there you go. Now, um, what's his name? Trevor Simeon. Yeah, yeah. From what we looked up. From what we looked up is taken over as a quarterback, starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears, which he has knowledge of the game, right? Yeah, but yeah. I just don't know if he's got the answer to beat the uh, Jets. So, so uh, lot to think the, about for Denver, Pops picks. Yeah, who's the Denver Broncos quarterback? And I, uh, Matthew Stafford, I think he's banged up. Uh, Jets are starting. What's his name? Mike. They said Mike F and White. <laughs> That's how they say his name on the show. <laughs> yeah. So he's starting. Zach Wilson's out? He's not even dressed. He won't be dressed for the game. Flacco's the backup. Hmm. Yeah, they sent him a message after what he did last week and then the, yeah, uh, the uh, post What did he do last week? Well, he played against the Jets. Remember I said two yards in the second half. Total offense. And then at the end of the game, they questioned him. He gave some ridiculous answers like that. Zach Wilson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, uh, next week's another game. Don't worry about it. Our team failed us. Nobody accepted that. When the coach heard that, a solid. I didn't notice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he went kind of uh, nuts. Well, guess what? You're not playing this week. Yep. Take a yeah. seat, Zach. You just lost your job to a guy that I don't even know. Is a second street quarterback, Mike White. Flacco, I could see. Because he, you know, the man won a Super Bowl. Yeah, how many years ago? Yeah, that's the problem. He's 38 years old. Yeah. Let's see. We got Glove saying, last performance I saw him saw him in was a play version of the movie version of Rocky Horror. Uh, and then Glove saying, sorry, sports show. Glove, it is a sports cast, but at the same hey, time, we talk... Time. It's Yeah, we talk a little bit about everything, Gloves. So don't worry about that. No need to apologize yeah, no, there. No, we talk about everything. Food, movies, you know. Yeah. You name it. Music. Music, yep, maestro. Again, we find it very, very uh, I interesting. Um, you know, really cool that, like, you know, that your pop wrote your pops wrote plays and and, and acted. Uh, yeah, that is fascinating. Are you kidding me? Let's see. Uh, Blue says, "Can you, Wiz? Can you bring the board a little closer to the camera?" Sorry. Yeah, no, we just. Uh, yeah. We weren't necessarily doing Pops picks just yet. No, no. I, uh, I told everybody while you were gone for a minute that uh, we're doing all three games tomorrow. Yeah. And well, we've got some tough games. Hold on. We don't want to block Pops' face over here. That's I got right. it. No, no, no. No, it's not. Can you see me? Hey! <laughs> but yeah, so as you heard Pops was saying, we got the Titans and the Bengals over here, the Jets and the Bears. Vikings and the Patriots, Giants, Cowboys, Bills, Lions, Chiefs, Rams. So, uh, 
you know, we're putting that out there right now. We're not making the picks just yet. It is still pretty early in the show. We'll do that in a little bit. What we can do as well, though, is, Pops, why don't you break the book out? And uh, we'll go over last week where everybody's at. Uh, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody, you know, for those that, may, you know, maybe, you know, we, yeah. we, we can bring it out again. All right. You went two Got and four. Move. I went four and two. Oopsie, two and four. Blue Monkey, five and one. Mesmo, five and one. Glove, three and three. Hermandark, three and three. And Sweaty went two and four. So sweaty, sweaty's in that in, in that would uh, you know. So sweaty, wait. So there's three that had two and four. Me, sweaty, and permadur. Oopsie, oopsie. Permadur went three and three. Three and three. So he went three and three with glove. Yep. So we got first place blue monkey. Second place glove. Third place mesmo. All right. All right. So as of right now, blue monkey would get the uh, fifty dollar gift card. Yep. He's Glove would somewhere. get the Mr. Whiskers hat. Yeah, he's 11 games ahead of him and wins. And Mismo would get the t-shirt. Or, again, we do have other things, so Mismo, mm -hmm. um, in the event that, like, you know, there's still a lot of football left, but in the event that you did keep the third place spot, uh, we also have, um, we have, like, unisex stuff that I could order, or we also have, um... You know, I, I have added some new things um, for the ladies out there. Of course, you can check this out. And, you know, like, again, it's still early. But uh, if you want to see some of the new stuff that we've added. Did you bring the markers in? Yeah, I got the marker right there. Okay. Good. <laughs> but we do have um, some women's tank tops, some women's T-shirts now uh, available at the, sh uh, at the store. And, uh, yeah. But again, right now, I mean, Mismo just, between Mismo and Glove, Blue Monkey's been holding on to first place oh, solidly. Exactly. Yeah, big time. Mismo and Glove bouncing oopsie out of the playoff, uh, well, not playoff no. spot, but yeah, out of the, uh, yeah. the, 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 uh, the giveaway. Yeah. yeah, the runnings. So, no uh, oopsie today. Wait, I, uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. I told him. He I said, know, you know, you want to get back in the game? He's in stop. the Discord. He knows when we're going you, live. I, yeah, I told him. He's got to uh, gotta start picking games, all six, and try to uh, come back strong. If not, mm -hmm. you're out. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It's a competitive, competitive Pops picks this season. Yeah, right. I got to tell you, though, it is exciting to see, like, uh, you know, when, 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 when it changes... Mm -hmm. You know, like when people are moving up, I was down. surprised you picked the Giants. For this why I put in. Yeah. yeah. Why? This is going to be a tough game to pick. Huh? The Owls just destroyed Minnesota. Okay, and but the Giants again, lost big time to Detroit. You're thinking in the past. Sunday. Yeah. It's not that this is the past. past. No, it's, it's still the past. Yeah. It may not be that far in the past, but it's still the past. And again, we know that it's any given Sunday. That game is not a definite on who's going to win. Well, I, I, okay, I can't wait to see how you pick. Now, we know that the game, for the, for the Giants-Dallas game, we know that it's in Dallas, mm -hmm. and it is the 3.30 game. 4.30. 4.30 Eastern time. Yep. Right? Yep. So, are you sure it's 4.30? That's what I heard. I'm pretty sure it's earlier than that, because the, the first game is 12.30. Yeah, no, then they're going to have a pregame for like almost 45 minutes to an hour, they said. Oh, okay, I didn't hear that. I didn't it's hear that yeah, four thirty, and then I think the night game is like eight twenty, eight thirty, on, on NBC. Interesting. That's gonna be an interesting game, Minnesota, New England. God only knows what the weather's gonna be like. You know, but both teams are used to cold weather, obviously. <coughs> Pardon me. Um. Yeah. Uh, and, and again, the way we have the board set up, everybody, I you know, I, I I'm going based off of when we're choosing the the board for the weeks. I'm looking at the uh, the, the uh, my, my fantasy football league to see who's facing who. Hmm. It's just a faster way to get the, the teams out there. So these aren't necessarily set up in a way. I'm, the, you know, the bottom team isn't necessarily the home team. I just want to put that out there now. Um, you know, we, 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 we write pops. When we put this board together, it's, you yeah. know, we're just trying to get it done quickly so we can get the show started done as early as possible. I think the one of the toughest games is going to be Tennessee and Cincinnati. Yeah. Both are like, you know, right. I think Tennessee has a little better record, but they're almost even. So 
a loss by either team is major. This is major for them because Miami is now playing. This is this is this is the one I think your main pick here, the middle one. Yeah. Vikings in New England. Now, I understand that the you know yes. Minnesota got their ass handed to them by the by the Cowboys. Big time. But for a team that is eight and two, correct? Mm-hmm. They're not eight and two for no reason. No. You know, so I'm pretty sure that they're going to be very fired up. I don't think they're as good as eight two that everybody thinks. I don't. I, I, they, I disagree. They won a with lot that. of games. I barely. disagree with that, but because they lost a lot of games barely. Remember last week seasons, I went against them, and now things are going well for them. Yeah, but remember last week I told you when they. To me, they got lucky beating the Bills with that great catch the kid made, Jefferson. There is and luck. There is talent with that great yeah. catch. And then that game Sunday, that game was over at halftime. Dallas just beat them up. And I think they're going to be like the Arizona Cardinals of uh, a, year, a couple of years ago where they won eight in a row, and they wound up like eight and seven. Or eight and eight. And they would have they to be eight losing. and eight. Yeah, they kept losing every game. But now that. we have, again... They got the taste of the loss. I don't think the Minnesota offense is as good as everybody thinks. I think that, you know, with Jefferson being one of the best wide receivers in yeah. the league. And he did nothing Sunday because why? It happens. They double covered him. It happens. But you yeah. know what else happens is opportunities open up elsewhere. You can't expect, you know, again, one of the things that you have to understand, Pops, which I know you do, but I like to bring it up because sometimes I feel like it's just – you look at what happens in a game and think that it determines the rest of the season? No, 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 no. I don't look at it that way. I it, it determine what happens previous games. Yeah. yeah, but then all of a sudden crazy shit happens. Like, you know, uh, the Jets beat the Bills. Does that mean the Bills are going to lose the rest of their games? No. no. Because they lost to, no. this, you know, okay, Detroit Lions beat us, the New York Giants. Does that mean we're going to lose every game here on out? No, it, do- it doesn't mean that. No, it doesn't. Yeah, because the Giants could you surprise look you. At the Giant it. defense could be... they got to be a whole lot better than they were last Sunday. You can't give up 31 points and try to win a game because we, our average point scoring per game is 21. So if we don't score 21, we're going to lose. And we did score. Well, we should have, but good old miss every extra point. But you, you're going off of stats right there. You're going off of the analytics. What do you think Vegas Sounds is? like... Uh, yes, but Vegas isn't always right either. A lot they are. A lot they are. But are they 100% of the time? Of course not. Nobody is. No. No. But they're pretty damn no. good. No. They're pretty damn good. And one thing that is certain in football is nothing is certain. No. Well, you got to look at injuries. You got to look. They look at passes. Like, game three, Dallas beat us up in the second half. I'm going to give you a prime example. Can I interrupt you for a second? Go. No. In 2007, did you think the Giants making the Super Bowl against an undefeated team would walk away with a ring? At the end, yes. No no, the end. no, 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 no. I'm not talking about because you already know the outcome. I'm no, 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 no. I knew. The last game we but lost. But building up to that. Yeah, I thought they were capable of winning, yeah. Because. Did you think they'd make it there? I think I did. Because they lost the last game, remember? 38-35 to the Patriots yeah. at Giant Stadium. Then. I, See, I feel staying. like this was a very different conversation. Oh, no, 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 no. I remember Strain looked, uh, walking off the field like this, pointing to the Patriots. We'll be back. Glove hooking us up with a little information. I apologize. Hold on to that thought, please. All right, go. Uh, he says, Giants-Cowboys is 430. Pats-Vikings is at an 820. That's Thank you. Said. Thank That's you, Glove. No, no, you're confirming it. I always, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I always appreciate anybody yeah. hooking us up with information. Yeah, yeah. They don't you want know? one uh, t- game to, uh, you know, overlap the other. Just because we're a sports guest and, uh, you know, we're, 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 we're fans. We're fans. Doesn't mean we know everything. It's always nice to confirm things, right? Yeah. Get back to that year. Yeah. We beat, uh, who the hell was it? The Florida team. We got which one? I don't know if it was Tampa in the first week. We would uh, have. Was Tampa? Yeah, we were the wild card. I know. Yeah, so we we beat them, and then we had to go to Dallas. That was my worry, but I said, you know what? They beat us twice during the season. Yeah, but then going into Green Bay, do you think they were going to win? With the weather? Yeah. See, I feel like if we could do like you know those commercials where they throw the challenge flag, I would love that right now because they. I feel like that is completely wrong from what actually happened. I said, 
Plaxico Barris and uh, Eli Manning would hook up, which they did. That boy didn't drop a damn pass in that game. No, well, he, he was he, How cold was it there? Again, the fact that they were even throwing the ball. Plaxico Burris, he was one of my favorite players of all time when it comes to wide receivers. <laughs> uh, that was the first jersey I ever purchased. Yeah, yeah. And I had a feeling. Brett Favre was the quarterback, right? He was a gunslinger. And I had a feeling, which turned out to be right at the end. He threw the interception, which cost him the game. See, I just, I, I, uh, I, I feel like, I feel like Pops, and the point that I was making was, is a team facing an undefeated team, a wild card team facing an undefeated team. Here's the point that I was getting at, everybody, was this, that it was highly unlikely, and I'm telling you right now, Vegas wasn't picking those odds. Maybe you felt the way you did, but... Here's the thing here, is when we're looking at this board, just because of what happened last week does not mean that you're going to see a repeat of something like no, that. No, no, I week. hope I'm wrong. You know, Because you know how important this game is? Yeah. For both teams? You with, wouldn't have... With, pre- yeah, with Philly it's huge. And, uh, Philly at what, 8-1? Like, that's why even having the Lions against the Bills. We've had so many games this season on Pops Picks where nobody had went in one direction. Yeah, that's a big game again. Bills. Or, or no, no, that nobody... Nobody, you know, there was so... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There were so many games that nobody picked one team. Like, we were all on one side. Yeah, 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 yeah. And lost. We all lost. Yep. That's right. So, I mean, if anything, if anything Pops Picks has showed us this year... Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Detroit could beat the Bills. They can score. Rams could beat KC without Cooper Cup. It's possible. Cooper Cup is, uh, yeah, well, I don't know about that, but it's um, but anything is possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of our things that we say every time we do this show is any given Sunday. Granted, yeah, tomorrow's yeah. Thursday. Last week, you know, I think Kansas City, right? A lot of people did too. They just won that game. Hmm. The Chargers took the lead with under two minutes. They gave Patrick Mahomes too much time. Can't give him two minutes. If anything minutes that has showed us... And timeouts. When we looked at the Bills and the Chiefs in the playoffs that year... Yeah, yeah. You gave him too much time, right? You can't give him 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Because he will find a way to ruin your year. By the way, Kelsey had three TVs in that game. The game winner, too. That's the quarter, That's the quarterback. That's the tight end I wanted right away, but he was gone. Over 100 receptions again. I think he's got like 9, 10 touchdowns. Come on. That's great. Pops, are you ready? What? Let me ask, chat. You guys ready for Pops picks? Let's go. Shall we? Shall we break it out? I mean, of course, we'll keep bringing the yeah, board Yeah, yeah, you don't have to, uh, you know, you could uh, make your pick after we come back from break. You know? I'm fired up now after this conversation with Papa K over here. I'm uh, now, now I'm ready to make some picks. Glove coming and saying, I'm ready to rumble! He said, "I'm ready to rumble." I, 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 I added a little bit more to that, but he, the glove is ready. Oh, that's what the guy used to do at a boxing announcer. I know. That's what it made me think of. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So again, I don't mean to repeat myself, but maybe for those that are just joining us, here are the games for Pops Picks this week. We have all the Thanksgiving games on the board, um, and that would be we got the New York Giants and the Dallas Cowboys. Bills and the Detroit Lions and right in the Kansas City games tomorrow, right? No, New England. New England, sorry. New England, Minnesota. Vikings in Minnesota. So these three games right here are all being played on Thanksgiving. We also have the Tennessee Titans and Cincinnati Bengals. Big game. New York Jets, Chicago Bears. Big game. For the I almost Jets. said Bulls by accident. You know. <laughs> uh, and the Kansas City Chiefs and the Rams over here, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be exciting. This is a tough. This is a tough board. This, this every week has been tough. No, I know. But yeah. this one I feel especially because, you know, my my I, I I've gone back to back weeks now. Everybody, where I, I I've been two and four. Like, what? No, not last last week you were two and four. Not this, but not before that. Yes, I was. Mm-mm. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll tell you right now. I feel like I went back to back weeks two and four. You're right. Oops. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he laughs at me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you 
want some water? <laughs> no. It's that funny, huh? I didn't realize they went two and four about weeks. Yeah, yeah, went two and four, Pops. I went two and four two weeks in a row. I was four and eight for the last two weeks. Oh, my God. Anywho. Pops, you want to start us off? I got to go with Kansas City. Oh, so we're starting with this game. Pop a K. I got to go with them. I, I don't see, you know, Super Bowl champs. Playing like Super Bowl chumps. <laughs> really. <laughs> All right. Papa K taking Chiefs over the Rams. I, I don't see how you're going to beat Mahomes. How about Titans and the Bengals? That's a really tough one. Do you want me to save that for last? I'm still thinking about that one. All right. Let's move on to Jets and the Bears. Benny and the Jets versus the Bad News Bears. I got a feeling of... Uh, What's his name? The uh, right, coach has got this team. I think it's going to be a very low-scoring game. And you've got two quarterbacks that are second stringers playing. Yeah. i got to go with the Jets. Pops they're, is they're, taking the Jets. The defense. Right. Don't forget, they only allowed three points to the last 20 seconds of the game. we go. we got Pops in there for the Jets. We'll come over to your main pick right now. Vikings and Patriots. Patriots. Wow, you didn't even think about that. Yeah. All right. I was putting the cap I, back I, I on the I just told you earlier what we were talking. I think the Vikings have won games that probably they shouldn't have. And I think they're going on a downslide. Do, 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 and, do, and Bill Belichick always figures out a defense. Do, 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 Two yards against the uh, Jets in the whole second half. Yeah, that's rough. That's rough. That is rough. Now, Did shall you? we go over to... I'm sorry. Go, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah. Um, I feel like I want to go this route over here. Bills, Lions. Bills. I knew you were going to go that way. I knew that wouldn't. I think that's going to be a high scoring game, though. You think so? What, yeah. what, if you were. Now, we don't know the over and under on that game, do we? I bet you it's going to be at least 55. 55? What do you think What do you think the final is going to be? I got a feel it's going to be like 41 31. Really? Yeah. Inside. It's inside. No weather conditions. It's in Detroit. It's a dome. And the Bills just won there last week because they had to play there because of the terrible weather in Buffalo. And I know. Scored, and they scored 31 points. One thing we want to bring up, too, a big shout-out to uh, Broski was telling me this. Yeah. Um, to the uh, to the Bills Mafia, right? Or the, uh, you know. They went to the game. They, 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 but they had dug the players out to get to the game. That, that, that's Talk about a great, fan great base fans. right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're building a new stadium for them, by the way. Yeah. I don't know where it's going to be. It's somewhere in Buffalo, but it's going to be, uh, I think, four years from now. And hopefully, if they're smart, they put a dome. <laughs> hey, again, I just want to say a big shout-out to all the Bills fans that participated oh, yeah, yeah, in yeah. digging their team out right there. That, that is a fan base Major right game. there. A Over phenomenal here. fan base. Look at the race in that. Jets are 6-4, and four, last place. New England 6-4. and four. Third place, Miami seven and three. They have the bye. Buffalo seven and three. This is major, huge, major. Whoever, right. whoever wins, you know. Let's say they all win, it stays the same. But the odds but, of that yeah, happening yeah, yeah. Are, are, are slim. But if one or two of them lose, Anything. they drop. Let, let's say uh, Jets uh, lose, they go six and five. Things will change. Or if Pats lose six and five. Dolphins off a bye. Who knows? All right, keep going. All right, let's get over to the Giants Cowboys game. Cowboys. I don't think Giants have a prayer. And now we got to go back for your last pick, Titans Bengals. I got to go with uh, Titans because of uh, Derrick Henry. I don't think the Bengals could stop him. I think it's going to be that that that's going to be an interesting game because again, um, Cincinnati Bengals their their offensive line is notorious as we Bad. all know. Bad. Is they're they're terrible. They're probably I I wouldn't be surprised if they're ranked last. Yeah, they have a lot too many sacks. You know, I mean Joe Burrow, and then like the, you know, oh, he's getting killed. Derrick Henry, but see again, Derrick Henry, he has good games, and then he has games where he's non-existent. Oh, well, the last game he was pretty damn good. Right? I know, I have him on my fantasy team, yeah. and that's why I can say this because there are there are weekends where after the fact I'm looking at the team going. What happened? King Henry, where were you? Yeah, yeah. 
Where were you? I'm, like you said, uh, I don't think the Cincinnati defense will stop this guy. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets like between 100 and 150 yards mm. and a couple of TVs. Well, with that being said, I'd like to add my picks now. Oh, go. Nobody's picking? No, nothing yet. Okay. You, you know when people are picking pots is when I start reading it off. So when go, you hear go. me going, that's when you know. Okay, go. When it comes to the Jets in Chicago, Pops, I got to go with you on this one. Um, with everything that has happened to Justin Fields right now, and hopefully he has a speedy recovery. Yeah, he's you know, done. I, 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 I hope for a speedy recovery. I know he's... he's I, I, Dad, I get that he's done for the season, but we can hope for a speedy recovery that he... I he hope gets so. back to normal. But they're as going well. nowhere. You think they got yeah. a chance in playing? I would say he's four No, six. I'm not saying there's a chance of him playing. I'm just as a yeah. person to another person that is injured, I'm coming from here that I hope that yeah. I saw the replay of uh, when he got hurt. <laughs> he was running, and he went out of bounds, and he got slammed oh. uh, in the field and landed on his shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I say be careful with these running quarterbacks, you know? Daniel Jones is one. Josh Allen is another, you know. Uh, Justin Fields, obviously he's hurt. What's the other guy? Uh, Jalen Hurts on Philly. He, he, he is he is a it's mobile. Only I well. hate to say it, a matter of time, the one guy catches up to him and throws him down, and he gets hurt. Yeah, no, it is. But again, pops, it could happen at any position. No, I know, but quarterback is the main one. You know, you don't want to see a starting quarterback get hurt because he ran too much. See, I beg to differ there. Is to me the main positions of the men that are on the in the trenches. Yeah, but if you that are that that line, not yeah. But if you have a great quarterback, yeah. and you don't have any pass protection, yeah. then you don't really have a great quarterback anymore because he's. Let me throw this at you: If they lose Josh Allen or Patrick Mahomes, what do you think that team's going to do with a second string quarterback? Okay, here's the thing. That's a that that that's a great one, right? But when Philly went on that tear and lost Carson Wentz, and mm-hmm. they put in Nick Folk, yeah, and won a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. How about that? How about that as a Flukey. little rebuttal? Fluky, fluky again. That's what football is, pops. Yeah. It's fluky. Wasn't Nick Folk either, by the way? Who was it? It was Nick Folk is a kicker. Yes, he's a kicker. Who was then? Then who was it? Aaron Folk or something like that. I forgot. Do you know how much I remember? Yeah. But again, the point of the matter the Matrix. is, yeah, is you could have a starter go down. You could still find a way to win. Again, what we've learned and what we've learned this season about the New York Giants, just to bring them in because they are a prime example of what coaching can do for a team that has been awful for many seasons. Yep. All right? And now we're sitting here at 7-3. and three. Still a damn good record compared to what we're used to being at at this point in the season. We were like what, two and in, two and eight? Yes, exactly. So, year, so my thing is this is yeah no I understand that you know we, you know I get some of the things that you're saying but to have that back and forth that little you know I hope I'm wrong under the Cowboys. I hope I'm wrong, but I, I, first of all we always go with the Giants. How terrible they are on Thursday, Sunday, Monday. They're terrible. Not on, no, see, you just named every day that they No, play. no, the, uh, the prime, Thursday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, those are primetime games. Those are nationally televised games, almost always. They're terrible. But they've won on Sundays. Sunday night, I'm saying. Mm. When they're on Sunday night, they're terrible. Monday night, they have one of the worst records. All right, well, I'm making my way over here. I, I, don't, I don't even know if I'm at the Giants game yet. I oh, think I'm going to come over here to uh, the Tennessee Bengals game. I'm going Tennessee as well. I don't think... Why am I putting your name in? I don't know. You got me all messed He's up on here. Third. We're not talking about him. You got me all messed up, Pops. <laughs> all right, I'm going Tennessee. I agree with you, Pops. I don't think they're going to be able to stop Derrick Henry. I think yeah. he's going to have a lights-out game. I think this man's going to rush for easily over 100 yards. Not a problem. And the way Tennessee rushed uh, Aaron Rodgers that Thursday night game. And uh, Cincinnati offensive line is not very good. They're not good. They're they're going to put a lot of pressure on him. Don't be surprised if you see Joe Burrow fumble the ball or throw for a pick six. And Ryan Tannehill looked great again when he came back off his injury. Permadirt coming in saying, sorry, had to step away for 20 minutes. Permadirt, you don't ever... Ever, ever have to apologize to us. Where the hell were you? No, maybe him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Got 
hurts some nerve. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm a okay cake going for everyone's jugular tonight. Nah, I'm already kidding. I'm already Come on. Go ahead. Keep going. Come on, baby, light my fire. Sorry. Anyways. <laughs> Permadurt, feel free to join in. What's Permadurt's record right now? Oh. Get, keep pots busy over here. I'm just gonna, you know, chat. I'm just gonna keep making them grab the book. Remember that, yeah. Is at uh, 13 and 10. 13 and 10. Yeah, he needs a lot of help if he's gonna catch Blue Monkey. Cause... Well, listen, listen. I, I, I think at this stage in the game, Blue Monkey, it, 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 it's the ones that are up there in the top three. Blue Monkey included, you know, obviously. But uh, yeah. you know, it's it's gonna be Glove or Ms. Mo. Yeah. yeah. You know, but again, for Ms. Mo. You gotta remember, Blue this Monkey is her is. husband. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You know, they, it's they one of those things together. where, like, you know, Ms. Mo being the guru of that we team didn't over there. We know that. We thought he was the genius. Yeah, no. Now we know. Now we know. It's, hey, you should uh, start betting with Vegas now. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, don't get me side, Ms. Mo. I might have to send you a picture of my fantasy football team and uh, and what's available out there. Maybe you can help me. Help me with the waiver wise, you know, if you got any gut feelings or anything like that, you can let me know. No, no, no. Just allow. You know, help me out a little bit, you know. No, I, no. I'm trying to at least Too get. Late. I can't make the playoffs, but if I can grab the, you know, fifth place, I'd be happy with that. What are you, four and six? I am fucking awful is what I am. <laughs> You're awful. I'm behind. I'm three and seven. What's the oopsie? One and nine? <laughs> Let's go on a break. I'm not okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm good. I'm back. I'm back. Baby, come back. Yeah. You can blame it all on me. <laughs> oh, my God. You ever laugh so hard you make yourself lightheaded? <laughs> ah! Permadurt coming in. Picking Cincy. I like it. Okay, okay. Changing it up a little bit. He's got Minnesota and the Jets. Okay. And what else? Dallas, Casey, and Bills. And Bills. Very interesting, Bermadari. Going with Cincy. Going with Cincy. This is yeah, because that that's not you know that's a tough one. That's a tough one right there. All of us. I feel like this is going to be a square right here. And everybody goes with the Jets. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Resident Evil Jesse in the chat. Oh my go! My man, Jesse, how you doing? Yo, ho, oh, ho. Oh. Jesse, I really enjoyed watching you stream the other night. My man had it partied up. Freaking had the lights going left and right, getting down and kicking some ass in Resident Evil 2 Remake. Listen, if you don't know who Resident Evil Jesse is, be sure to check him out. Hold on a second. Let's do a little bit of this. Let's do a little bit of this. My man is quite a talent when it comes to Resident Evil 2 Remake. Da -da 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 there we go. I think I got that right. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Be sure to check his channel out as well. He is another phenomenal streamer. No problem, Jesse. How you doing, my man? How's everything going? I hope you're doing well. And I, you know, I know you're ready for Thanksgiving. We're doing Pops Picks right now. We got Blue Buggy coming in saying, I'm trying to see an opening where I can squeak a little bit closer to Wiz for next week. But the way it looks, Pops is absolutely right on all of them. Ooh, God. Blue Monkey. Ooh. I got a marker, and I know how to use it. My streams is now club. Oh, whoa. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It's too fly. God damn. Got his light show. He's on fire, man. It's too hot. 
goddamn. Call the police and the firemen. Sorry, sorry. I get a little carried away. I get a little carried away. No. Sometimes, a little bit, a little bit. You know, not too much. You guys trying to make us pics and you over here singing some bullshit song. Say my name, know who I am. Sorry, sorry. It's not a bullshit. It's a good song. I know, I know. We're gonna pops, 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 pops. Calm down here. It's Thanksgiving week. It's a Thanksgiving show. No, we're good. We'll keep going longer later. I know, I know. What are you in a rush for right now? I'm not. Feel like he's rushing me. Feel like he's rushing me. Hold on. Okay, at least let me make one or two more picks here, because there are there are some like this game. This game's causing me some men, you know, some difficulties up Which here. Which one? Vikings New England game. Oh, okay. Well, you picked two of the same ones I picked already. So I gotta go. I gotta go. Bills here. Now no, you're picking the three of the same. I'm feeling that, and you know, Cooper Cup out. KC. This one's a tough one too. I'm gonna go. Ah, I'm. Ah, ah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. I gotta go KC as well. Sorry, but I'm just looking at this. You're like the games that. that I'm having a hard time with. Oh no, okay, I picked that one. Okay, the ones. I'm, okay, the middle right here. The middle right here. Vikings, Vikings New England. Giants. Giants out. Cowboys. That I'm gonna have to do when we get back. Okay. Oh. Hold the phone here. We right. got Blue Monkey saying Tennessee. Patriots. Mr. Blue over here. He's going Patriots and Tennessee. Yeah. Sir. So he's going with the same teams. I think he just said he agreed with me. Uh, he's got Bills, Dallas, and KC. Same teams. Bills, Dallas, KC, and the Jets. That's the one game that scares me. See, I said that this is yeah the Jets because. Mike White is the second string quarterback. Mm-hmm. Who's going to be better? Mm-hmm. The only reason I bet the Jets got is their, deep, their defense has been phenomenal. <laughs> so they could put a lot of pressure on this kid, <laughs> Simeon. I think he'll fold. And it's a home game for the Jets. So. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break. Ladies and gentlemen, when we come back, take the time to think about what you want to put on the board here for Pops Picks this week. Uh, you know, and of course... You gotta get the, if you want to participate. You gotta get him in tonight for tomorrow's games. Yeah. Because once this show ends, Thursday's Thanksgiving football will be locked in, and you will only be able to participate in the other three games, and those have to be in by Saturday night, by about 5 p.m. Eastern time. All right. So uh, let's see. Hold on. Pats may go other way. Hard one. Minnesota Pats may go the other way. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's a tough one, Blue. Yeah, it's a big game for uh, New England. We more, more than uh, Minnesota because Minnesota's pretty much wrapped up that division because Green Bay's playing lousy, Bears playing lousy, Detroit's yeah. lousy. So they're going to be able to win that division with uh, hands down. We'll see what happens. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere now. New England. It is Thanksgiving week. Boxing with Sportscast. We'll be back with some more picks. Yeah. We'll be back with some more discussion of other things and stuff. And oh my God, where else would you rather be? Nowhere. Right here. Oh my God, it's magic. You know. Never believe it's not so. (laughs) He wants some karaoke in the bar. But he's singing on the show. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, meow.
All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the Pops and Whiz Sportscast. We're your host. My name is Mr. Whiskers. Over to my right is Papa K. How about a little hockey? Well, I thought we were going to uh, oh, yeah, finish yeah, up the go. Pops yeah, picks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, come on. At least my picks. He's over here saying I'm over here singing well, and why shit. Why are you doing it up talk hockey? No. No? No, be patient. Okay. I swear, I don't know if this man has a patient bone in his body. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we got here, these were the last two picks for myself. And also Blue Monkey, really quick. Uh, does the same go for Mismo on these picks? Are they the same, the same picks for you? Let us know in a chat. All right, so now when I'm looking at the Vikings in New England, I feel like the Vikings are going to come back. After that, that devastating loss to the Cowboys, you know, I I, I, I don't see them putting up a, a measly three points against New England. I think they're going to really show something, show that they are a team to be reckoned with, that it isn't just dumb luck that they have the record that they have. I think, and I have said this for the last three seasons, that this is a team that has been building up and that they're going to contend. So I got to go with the Vikings on this one. I think they come back. I think it's going to be a close game. I'm figuring I'm figuring like a field goal game. Whoever has last possession of the ball, yeah. which I'm hoping is the Vikings. Mm. And with that being said, I'm going to move on to the Giants and Cowboys. Now, I, I'm going to pick the Giants here. I got to pick the Giants here. I feel like they, they need a win right now. And after their, 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 their poor performance against Detroit, which, you know, I say poor because they, they didn't win. They, there was a lot of things that they struggled with getting going. Yeah, you got to um, get their running game going. But with the odds being that they, 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 they have a tendency, like Pop said, that they lose on these primetime games, they don't always lose. And I feel like they're going to pull a miracle out here. They're going to they're gonna show Dallas... You know, tie up that record. You know, first divisional game we played since Dallas. Of course, now we're facing Dallas again at Dallas. And they have a dome. So this this could be very helpful for the Giants as well. I think that they're going to take this one. Again, another close game, I feel. Going with the hard pick, I respect that. You know, Permit Dirt. Not only am I going with my heart here. But when it comes to the both games that I just picked, not only am I going with my heart, but odds as well. You know, what are the odds that you know that the Giants are gonna always lose on a Thursday? It's not, it's not given. Yeah, nice. It's nice. not grand. You know, you know. I, ju I just don't see. I don't know how they're gonna stop the steam. No, it's gonna be. Listen, it's gonna be tough. Plus, uh, we can't score. That's the biggest problem. If we, if, if Saquon doesn't run. If he doesn't get like 150 yards, well, I feel like it's gonna be—it's a combination of things with this game, chat. No receipts. With the with the Giants Cowboys game, it's a combination of things right here that need to go well for the Giants to win, and it's not impossible for them to win. When they lost to Dallas when we first played them, it was mistakes made very near the end of the fourth quarter. No, we that, lost that game in the second half. I know, close. but at the end of the fourth quarter. You know, the, towards the last 10 minutes of the fourth quarter is where a lot of things went wrong for the Giants. Um, two picks that Daniel Jones had thrown. Mm. Again, if those drives would have been fruitful, we're looking at a very different That's game. That's the reason they lost Sunday. He threw two picks and a fumble. I know. So but he before, has... No mistakes. He has shown that he has made improvements in protecting yeah, yeah. the football. But he had to throw too much because they were behind. Yeah, and they and couldn't get the run game. You don't want him throwing 44 times. You want him throwing the max 25 times. Now, I know Brian Dable has got to be look, saying to this team, listen, I know that the defense is going to have an off game, right? But I'm sure he's looking to go, I know you guys and what you're capable of doing. Yeah. yeah and I imagine that they're going to come out. I feel like they're going to shut Ezekiel Elliott down. I feel like they're going to hold him. It's not him. It's Pollard. Pollard. I feel like they're going to hold the running game to about 60 to 80 yards. That'd be nice. And, again, I, I, I just think that, uh, you know, there is a possibility that the Giants right now can turn things around, and it would be great to go into this. After a rough loss to the Detroit Lions, that they're going to come into this game a little yeah. bit more fired up. 
and know that their season rides on what happens tomorrow evening and forward. Yeah, we have the Colts, right? But that's still not a guaranteed win either. Not at all. So they know that their season coming up is, the rest of it is going to be very difficult, that they're going to have to buckle it down. And I think that with coaching staff we have now. Yeah. They win tomorrow. That'd Big. be a major win. It's massive. Then they got a shot at the wild card. Massive. I'm not even thinking about wild card right now. I'm just thinking about one game at a time yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. Let's beat the Cowboys. Let's go. Well, I'm Let's thinking wild card because uh, Philly's at hot. And don't <coughs> count out the Washington Excuse Commandos me. right now. Commanders. They're, they're on a roll. Commanders. Commandos. Commanders. Those. Those Durs. Those. <laughs> Durs, like from workaholics. Hey, they said it on the microphone. On Durs. Commandos. Commanders. Yeah, well, 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 it is in the chat. It's Commanders. We've we gone over this. Watching the football team. We've gone over this, Bumps. Yeah, that's a major game. All games in the NFC East and AFC East are big this week. Because they can determine a lot of uh, swings. The Giants win. If the Commanders lose, you know, if Philly loses, Giants are right there. I know, and exactly, and this is eight this and is, three. Fingers got to be crossed here. Well, they always have to play a perfect game uh, tomorrow afternoon. We got Permadirt saying they have to get the ball into Saquon's hands early and often. See, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't agree with that because I, I think, and no, I think any defense right now, and if Detroit has shown us anything, is they're picking up, they get it that you know, okay, Saquon is having an outstanding season so far. They're going to be key. Listen, listen to me. They're going to be keying in for this run play. He only, he only had 15 touches. I know, but they're going to be Not keying enough. in. The week before you we need, had 35. I, I feel like you got to go 50 50 here because if you go the first half and you keep giving Saquon the ball, yeah. he's got to get 35. To, uh, 25 Dallas's touches. Dallas' defense is, is damn, damn good. good. Yeah. And they're going to be looking for that. They're going to be looking well, then you got so to unless the you have, line. Unless you have trick plays set up. Of course, Daniel Jones is going to have to use his legs as well. Yeah. If you're going to want to beat this Dallas Cowboys team in their house, yeah. you know it's going to be loud. You know it's going to be crazy. It's Thanksgiving. It's one of the greatest times of year, to be, especially when it comes to football. You know that they're going to have to switch it up a little bit, and they're going to have to maybe throw a little 50-50. Their reads are going to have to look very different, and they can't rely on the run game. Let me see if you agree with me on one thing. Down the road, Giants got to start drafting receivers. We do need receivers. Yes. He has, yes. Who does he have? I know Slayton has been his one of his key targets right now. Now he did show something against the Detroit Lions. Yeah. One thing that I picked up from that game was one thing that Daniel Jones did correct is that he didn't just focus and hold in on Slayton. Not every pass went to Slayton. He actually broke the field up left to right a bit, a little bit in the middle. The one guy he threw to got a hundred yards. Out for the year. Yeah, okay. Robinson, but again, Robinson. again, you're going to have to, people, people are going to have to step up, Pops. It's how it always works yeah, in football. The problem football. is, who do you have to step up? Yeah, but who did we have to begin with? When it comes to our passing game, when it comes to wide receivers, you had Slayton. You have Slayton. And he can't. You're going to have to look for maybe some remarkable receiver comes into the, you know, Odell. has an outstanding game. Odell. Oh, Glove. Glove is putting his picks in. I'm sorry, Glove. My apologies. Odell Beckham Jr., maybe? That'd be nice. I would love to see it. Ain't happening. You know, I have my, I, I still have my thoughts. Hold on, hold on. Gotta Glove, let me get you in here. In a heartbeat. Let me make sure we don't block One out. One of the most dangerous pages. receivers I ever saw come up. Everybody was an asshole. Yeah, well, he, you know, he was but young. Now, I think now maybe he's mature. All right, that's what I'm saying. Let's see. Glove is going Tennessee and New England. Ooh. All right, let's get you over here, Glove. He's got Jets and Bills. Mm. Uh, here we are. And he also has Casey and Dallas. Guy, he picked every game I picked. Yeah, well, when you look at this board, Pops, a lot well, of similar Mesmo, picks. Mesmo. Well, well, um, well, you know, we're still waiting for Mismo. She's, you know, okay. 
making her decisions. So everybody's picking you know, it's, it's not no, no you know, sweaty. The only thing I know, I know. He's off. There's no school. I know, I know. Well, pops, pops. I get, you know, the show ain't over yet. Well, so far, nobody, it's not like it's not no, like you no, know. We, last week, a couple of uh, this, names, nobody you picked. Uh, the, so far, nobody Detroit. This right here, though, tomorrow's three games. Those are the only ones that need to be put in tonight before the show ends. Sure. Those are the only ones that are like where there is a. Oh, nobody picked the Giants. Sorry, I did. Oh, oh, take it back. I forgot the red line. Okay. So, so let's see. Permadur says. Washington has been red hot. Dallas is susceptible to the run, and Green Bay showed that. Get the run game going and start doing some uh, RPO plays and uh, keep Dallas off the field. They will. They won't win a shootout. Need to slow down the game. Absolutely correct. But you do, you know, I understand the idea of slowing down the game, but you could also, you know, yes, play actions. Play actions are going to be a big thing too here. Keep Keep that Prescott off the field. Have five, six-minute drives and score, even if it's three. Yeah. Score, but keep him off the field. And I'm putting, Time of possession is major in this game. I'm putting my faith in Daniel Jones, too, and his legs. And he has been also very cautious with himself where yeah. when he does run, you see he slides. He protects himself, and he protects the ball. You know Dave, so that's great coaching. Be, yes. Dave you know, he don't want his quarterback injured. No. You so if no you're going to be spring. mobile, if anything, I feel like Daniel Jones as a mobile quarterback is probably the safest among mobile quarterbacks right now, knock on wood, yeah. that he has shown, you know, as soon as he sees the opening, he'll go for it. But when he sees the defense coming in, he slides right down. Teach him how to slide like in baseball. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, and that was something that happened with Eli Manning going back to when Eli Manning was the quarterback yeah, was of the Giants. Runner. They brought in a a uh, a teach baseball coach to teach him how to slide and protect yeah. himself. And I see that you know Daniel Jones has done a very good job with that this season. You know, he normally at this point he has more interceptions than he has touchdowns. At the, as we've seen so far, it's quite the opposite. This year. This year, this yeah. season, and he has done a phenomenal offense. job. Yeah. Well, the offensive line to me is getting a little bit better. He scored me twenty-four points. I picked him up in the fantasy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, one thing on the offensive line, they got to open up because if Saquon sees one little hole, they'll give you a burst where he can score a seventy-yard touchdown. Go seventy yards, he can get you a good first down plus twenty yeah. yards. Yeah, but you got to open up a little bit of space for the guy. No, there's definitely got to be something for that. And again, Can't be I don't think ball. that the Giants, as well as they have played yeah. Yeah. so far this season, of course, it's been close games. There's been no blowouts or anything like that. But they have shown that they can stay in the mix. They're doing a very, um, they're doing a phenomenal job at clock management. Yeah. Couple of mishaps of this past game yeah, well where, coached. yes, I think that's the whole story. This was considered a blowout, thirty-one eighteen. Yeah. Because really, they were never in that game. No. You know, I mean, with the Giants blowing out other teams. They've no, kept themselves never happened. in it. Never the clock happened. management has been phenomenal. Giants, Giants went right down to the wire, whether it's a field goal you know, or a defensive play, like they beat the Ravens on a, a fumble. Permadar coming in saying, problem is Diggs will be on Slayton, uh, so they will need someone to step up in the throwing game uh, for the Ooh. odd play. Yeah. That's the problem. Who? You just lost your uh, top receiver of last week, Robinson. Shepard is out for the year. Galladay's done nothing. So if you cover or double cover Slayton, who's the other receiver? Well, you saw it, though, even though we lost to Detroit, you saw it that Daniel Jones is spotting other receivers. Yeah, who? He is finding the window. Again, I don't know who some of these guys are because, you know, they, they haven't really made a name for himself yet. But that, that could happen. That could happen and again. His name is Rick James. Is the you other got guy. James. That was one of the guys he was targeted. Remember that guy we saw in preseason, and then never picked him up. Remember he scored a couple of touchdowns. What I want to say, I don't remember. No, because I didn't. I didn't catch any preseason. Oh, okay. I, you know, I had a big I told you about him. He, he had a couple of big touchdowns. I don't. They never picked him up. One of the things I want to point out, and I think that you'll agree with me. Uh, you know, if if. If Daniel Jones wants to put himself up there as the quarterback for the New York Giants, as the main guy, he's going to have to do something that other quarterbacks like Kansas City with Patrick Mahomes. 
Losing Tyreek Hill, Patrick Mahomes has found a way to utilize his other weapons. Daniel Jones is going to have to do the same thing here. The beautiful thing about the Giants is I think that Daniel Jones has the ability to target, as he showed again, even though we lost that game, things that I can pick up from watching that game, he spread the ball around. It wasn't every pass went to Slayton. He moved it around from across the field, from left to right. He's shown that he can do that. He's going to have to do it again against Dallas. He's going to have to use his legs. And again, I agree with you, the offensive line and Saquon are going to have to do something here. Because he has no tight end. Yeah. Galladay keeps dropping the ball. He's gone after this year, thank God. You put some stick him on his hands. Just give him a little of that stick. Draft some number one receivers next year. I know. But, it, you know, again, Make that trades is something... for a receiver. Get Odell Beckham back this year. I don't care what he did in the past. He's a dangerous receiver. Again, we got to worry about that ACL. Yeah, well, Is he, he the a, same player? Can, he a, does he have the same burst of speed that he did? Well, he hasn't played a game yet this year. That's the scary part. Hold on a second. Blue Monkey coming in saying, Mismo is riding with the same picks as Blue. Uh, thought we were having a split house on a couple of games. It looks like we're all on the same page. Can you put Mismo on there? M-Z-M-O with everyone that Blue is on. All right, we got you, Ms. Mo. We got you. Glove coming in saying, Pops is an owl. Who? Who? A what? He's making a joke. You're an owl. Who? Who are you throwing it to? Like we were talking about Daniel right. Jones. Who are you throwing it to? That was clever, Glove. I like that. Permadone says, OBJ keeps hinting at joining Dallas. Oh, that would be rough. That would be rough right there. Mm. But no, we no, all know. We need, we need him. We, we all know. We, we all know what OBJ is about, though. Chat, we notice for our football fans out there, for everybody that's following football, you know that Odell Beckham Jr. is about this. He's already making a ton of money. I know. So it's whoever gives him more money is where he's going to go. He's He'll hint at Dallas. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sorry, Pops. I wouldn't be surprised if he's hinting at Dallas to get the Giants to really bite down and get him. He's already on the contract. The Giants gave him $107 million. Then they traded him. So that contract continues. Yeah. What do you, uh, where, where did he go to after the Giants? Uh, I forgot where he went to. Then he went, went to Cleveland. To, was it Cleveland? Yeah, and he got hurt. He got hurt. And then he, then went, he went to, to the Rams. Rams. And he got hurt, he in, got Super hurt in the Super Bowl. And that's it. Which, that was shitty, too, because, like, you know what? Despite the, the history of Odell Beckham Jr. and the, the immaturity in the past, yeah. he was having quite the start to that Super Bowl for the Rams. Yeah. He was that making whole time. some great when, catches, when he, some he, great yeah. plays, and again, yeah. seeing that he was making cuts in the middle. That's the problem. Can't stay on the field. I know. You know he was on the Giants, right? He got hurt after the second year. He got hurt with that uh, preseason game. Love Can't saying I know plenty about OBJ. I know him too. That's right, because he was on your team, Glove. He's a great talent. But, you know, uh, uh, the first two years, I mean, I think he scored like 37 touchdowns for the Giants. That's unbelievable. And uh, Eli was hitting him with the bombs, remember? No, that yeah. one catch against Dallas in the end zone. Yeah, still one of the best Bend it like Beckham, is like what they were calling it. Yeah, yeah. You know? That yeah. was one of those. Hold on a second. But he thinks uh, that is. Herman uh, Dirt says Galladay's a bum. <laughs> he is. The guy was great on Detroit. I don't know what the hell happened to this guy. He can't hold on to a ball. Hold on a second. Let's let, let, let's see if we can't bring this bad boy up. I remember the catch. It was no, I know you remember the night. catch, but for those that have never seen it. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Let me, uh, catch, and they lost the game. Let me, let me get a little of this going. Look at this, chat. For those that haven't seen this, where are you? Where are you? He says it's one of the best catches in NFL history. Which wasn't a playoff game. Yeah, hold on. I'm hooking it up right now. Give me two seconds. Let me blow it up a little bit, too. Okay, that's as, that's as big as I can make it. Here, we'll do a little transition right here. Look at this. That was that was that was the catch OBJ made for the, the Giants, and, and, and that was got, all over the they papers. They called a penalty. Yeah. Against Dallas, and he still caught the ball. Mm-hmm. 
But again, he, he again, incredible that. talent, incredible. Yeah, if he didn't have that uh, do those stupid things, he probably would still be with the Giants. Yeah, no, I agree with you. He got Coughlin fired, or released, whatever. But that guy should have been on this team if he could just keep his mouth shut. You know, I know he at knew that time, he was talented. Again, like you and, know, the talent it was shown, and when he realized he could compete in the NFL like that, pops it went to his head. And he got criticized in the Green Bay playoff game in, in 16. He was terrible. Got Cole the Weather. bag and stopped playing. Since Cole Weather, he couldn't hold the ball. Couldn't hold the ball. Well, Plaxico Burris in 2007, that freezing weather, held every ball. Well, that was one of the that was one of the problems with OBJ is he could make all these incredible catches, but when you hit him in the numbers... Yeah, yeah, couldn't do it. And, and I, think, I think part of that was is because he was planning on making the move before he caught the ball. And that is something that does happen to wide receivers. Uh, no, no excuse, it's true. No, no excuses, though. Listen, it's not an excuse. It's a reality. Yeah, yeah. But if you're a pro and you want, if you're a winner, you make those plays. Sorry. You are in the playoffs. You're in Green Bay. Hold on to those three balls that he dropped. We probably would have won that game. But also, if the defense would have stopped fucking Aaron Rodgers from that Hail Mary at the end of the first half. Forget, the change of game was those three plays. No, the, Giants, the change of the game was they got deflated. They gave up a Hail Mary. Yes, but... You know what the odds of a Hail Mary being but, completed but are? But before that, if the Giants, if he holds on, holds on to the ball, they score. It's like 1%. Yeah. If they score, that probably doesn't even happen. If, if again, but... It, Here's the Giants thing. Giants could have had a 24-7 lead in that game. They could have, they should have, they would have, but they didn't. I know, and this is the past. In hindsight, a lot of things they could have done well, different. Well, our point being, he did hold on to the ball. Yes. That's the point. And you, you, when you hit great him in the receivers, numbers... Great it's, receivers it's, hold on to the ball. Jerry but Rice. Every, listen, great receivers drop the ball too sometimes. But not often. Not often. I agree yeah. with that. And they, they don't drop in clutch situations. And I'm not. Like, I'm, sit, I'm putting. I'm putting Odell up there as a very talented wide receiver. But not I have great. not put him up there as the greats. Okay? No, no. Well, he hasn't shown. Him. Larry Fitzgerald, one of the greatest wide receivers. Never won anything. Plaxico Burris, one of the greatest wide receivers What's I've ever up? seen. Um, the guy on Pittsburgh, the Steelers. Years ago, Lynn Swan. No, 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 no. More recent. What was oh. it um, Moss? No. No, no, he was on uh, Minnesota. No, Antonio, Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown, yeah. Antonio Brown with the Steelers. Phenomenal wide receiver. Yep. All right? Screwball. Again, Tyreek Hill with, the, with you know, even as of right now uh, on great. the Dolphins. Yeah. Still great. He was great on uh, Kansas City. Yep. Uh, you know, but these are guys, that, as great as they are, you drop the ball sometimes. I agree with you. It's yeah. not, it, it's not more, it, it, yeah. it's less often. Yeah. But, um... Guy like yeah, Kelsey. I, I was not putting OBJ up there as one of the no, greatest wide receivers. So first of all, uh, yeah, he hasn't played the whole year. I mean, fuck, I, I put Victor Ooh. Cruz in there as oh, one of a, a better clutch. wide receiver yeah, until he got that calf injury. He was why, he was clutch. Why are the Rams holding on to this guy? Why yeah. they don't release him? Rams are going nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Why don't you get rid of this Cooper Cup? Another one. Yeah. He's done. I know, but I'm just saying, he's great wide receiver. Yeah, when he can stay on the field. Yes. Problem is, he doesn't stay on the field. You've got to keep guys on the field that are great. Great ones, like I said, Jerry Rice, Lynn Swan. We're talking about a physical game, Pops. Like, you know, injuries are inevitable. I know, but some guys stay on the field. They put their all out there, and sometimes fluke things happen. Again, when you're putting everything out there with no fear of injury, guess what, though? Shit is going to happen. And this is where I do give credit. I know that Dak Prescott gets a lot of shit. But after the injury, the ankle injury, which I remember looking at that and it still made the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. Mm -hmm. When he suffered that ankle injury to the New York Giants, you know, it takes a level of willpower, determination to get back out there. And that goes not only for Dak Prescott to step back on the field, that goes for... Every player that goes out there taking a chance they're going to get hurt suffers a severe yeah, injury, a comes game. back yeah. and gets back out there. Look at this I fucking take my hat off to those players because that's incredible. Look at this game. He broke his thumb. He missed six weeks. Yeah. You know, he's back. You know, to Justin Fields. 
yeah. who, who, who yeah. separated his shoulder and torn ligaments. I mean, it, you know what it takes to get back out there knowing that these injuries yeah, can happen yeah, again? Yeah. And, and to perform at a level, at an NFL level. Yeah. The problem is, in my opinion, when you don't have a great team, certain great players get hurt. If you had, like in my day, you had great receivers on the 49ers, on Pittsburgh. It wasn't just those one guys. Yeah. So they had to cover this guy, that guy, this guy. It was like the Giants in 2007. They had to co uh, cover Tyree, uh, Plaxico, you know. There was uh, the tight end, right, at that time. Boss. Yeah. Before it was him, Shockey. Shockey first. But you had Sh three, yeah, it was Shockey the three guys that were open. So you had a choice of going to... And then no you had Earth, Wind, and Fire. And they had the best running game on the planet. Yeah. You know, guy run over you, the other guy was fast. Ooh, Permadart throwing another great wide receiver out there. Terrell Owens. Oh, no, Giant. Oh, San Francisco, 49ers. Yeah. I thought, I thought he was on Cowboys, too. Uh, he was on the 49ers. He was on the 49ers, yeah. yeah. Uh, but he, uh, Permadurt saying, had drop problems even though he is a great. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Permadurt, that was great, great shout-out right there for Darrell Owens. Uh, getting hit by a fridge with arms is going to break bones and ligaments. That's a great way to put it. Yeah, yeah. Like, you get hit by a fucking truck. I know the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Superman over here. Got hit by an SUV last week. Yeah. And still, look at him. Look at him. Not, not even a scratch on him. Yep. Yeah. How come I didn't get any of those genetics? Well, you didn't get hit by a car yet. Touche. <laughs> 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 and you don't want it. No, you, I don't. You I know, don't. your brother got hit by a car when he was young. I know. Well, Big I, time. I don't remember that. That was worse than what I got. Well, I remember the story. I wasn't alive when it happened. That, that when uh, your mother showed me those pictures, I said, are you crazy? You didn't go to a lawyer? Hmm. Crazy? Well, it all worked out. I remember what happened, too. Ah. Let's see. Blue Monkey. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see, we got chat going off over here. Blue Monkey's cracking up. Permadurt says, Pops took the hit and got the first down. Yeah, right. No, no, no. I got flung teeth 10 feet and went backwards for a he, loss. He, of he a lost a couple of yards. <laughs> yeah, at least five. <laughs> yeah. Freaking Blue Monkey coming in. Superman Pops. Permadurt saying, Move the chains. Blue Monkey coming in. Pops took the hit and still got up and got on the show. Believe me, it was, uh, it was scary at the time. Yeah, no. I still got to see this. Uh, that was the cut I got on my elbow when I fell backwards. It's healing up nice, though. Yeah. No, I don't even touch it. No, I don't get him very happy. You know, of course, we're all extremely happy. I think me I'm watching, more than my, I'm watching my ass now when I cross the street now. Thank you. When we would walk the dogs, you, you're, yeah, you're, yeah. you're better with walking the dogs now, too, right? You stay on the yeah, side? Yeah. Because, yeah. Pops, you, and you, you put that in the air. Now that I think about it, every time we walked the dogs, a car would come, and I'd be like, Pops, move to the side. He goes, eh, hey, hit me. Yeah, well, he, I bet you're it. not saying that anymore. No, that didn't even move. Yeah. I'm very happy that you're okay, though. He didn't even tell me. He didn't even tell me. We had a conversation like it was a regular day, and then later on, I'm talking to Jay Swift, and she was like, You spoke to your dad today. I was like, Yeah. He goes, How do you feel? I'm like, You're good? What you, I don't what? want to upset nobody. He's like, he got hit by a car. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and I called you immediately. I was like, you didn't tell me? this ass. Ah, not that it's nothing. You got hit by a car. <laughs> it wasn't even a car. It was an SUV. Yeah. Yeah, I watch myself now. I did that. I did that day. I thought the guys would let me yeah. go. The other guy, I didn't realize, didn't no, see yeah, No, this was no fault of yours. No, no. Yeah. The guy's going like this, go. Mm -hmm. So I go, and evidently he thought he was yeah, waving no. to him. Yeah. It was it, it, it was just like a misread on three different spots right there. Well, and, uh, thank God, again, thank God you're okay. Yeah, what happened again? Let's Never see. Learned. Parmenter says, Pops back in the show is more commitment than Galladay has ever shown. Yes, yes. I can't believe it. Oh, that way, that, like, that I was... I can't believe that Galladay, when they got him, I said, wow. Pops, you realize uh, how much of a, you know, a compliment that is? Hold on, hold on. High five to you, Permadurt. High five to you too, Pops. 
Yeah, but I get, I get what he's saying. But you know what? This guy was a great receiver with the Lions. When they got him, I was happy as hell. Same. First of all, I thought he stand. was going to be a major impact. Yeah. I thought, first of all, he's going to make, yeah, like you said, then he can't stay on the field, then he can't catch the ball, then he's uh, disgruntled, you know, and I don't even know why he's on it. They paid him a ton of money. Another giant blunder by the uh, front office, by yeah. the way. They thought they had a superstar. But they didn't. Going back to, again, Bob Gay and, and Blue Monkey agree in apartment there, which I couldn't agree more. No, what? Well, I think you got hit by an SUV and uh, we're down. Uh, pops, Pops, we're just putting that out there. Is, is And one of the things that you and I always talk about, one of the things that we look forward to during the week, especially this week, I was telling Jay Swift, this is one of my favorite weeks to do the show. Everybody's off tomorrow. Almost. You know, there's a lot of sports going on tomorrow, and we get to do the show tonight, start it earlier, keep it going a bit longer, mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, it, you know, again, though, it is, it, you know, I look forward to this show every week, and I know so do I. you feel the same. This is something we love. We love hanging out with everybody in chat. We love doing Pops Picks. Yep. I love doing the Home Run Derby. <laughs> Even though he beat me. Even yeah, though he beat catch me. You in this football thing. I hope not, because I'd like to beat you well, at something. Damn it. You picked almost every other than what? You picked. Uh, I picked the Giants, and picked, I hope and that I can Minnesota rub that. Lattice. That's the only ones you did different. So in your face. So if I beat you up, that's not a good sports game. Like conduct right there. I'll take a flag right there. That's something we can we can make an emote. Flag for four, We're gonna put a yellow flag in there at some point. Flag for sportsmen. Wow, nobody. <laughs> How's that for an idea for yeah. a new emote? Yeah. A yellow flag for the show. Flag. Oops. Uh, you know, whiskers. You went too far. No Detroit and no Chicago. I know this happens every week, and then somehow we're too. always wrong on one of these games. Yeah, let's wave the word. Yeah. Well, Boom Monkey says we always look forward to the oh, show. No, take it back. Hermadert says nobody, love the show. Nobody, nobody picked we the love Rams. You guys. Three. Three games, three games, nobody picked. Yeah. But Pops, did you hear me? Mm. We got uh, Blue Monkey says, we always look forward to the show. Permadirt says, love the show. Good. And uh, we love you guys, each and every one of you. All right. Oh! Let's talk a little Rangers. Ah! Yeah! You know, Ranger fan, as you can see. They won last night. Rocking, scared me. I turned the game on, right? It's a late game, 10.30, because they're out on the coast. Turn the game on. 35 seconds in, the Kings score on a rebound. Five minutes later, they score again. I said, son of a bitch. This is not a good L.A. team, right? So I turned the game off for a few minutes. I let the game go uh, past uh, first intermission. I turned the game on. Rangers scored three times. It's three to two. Okay. They tie it up. Three to three. And here we go. Third period. Rangers score. Four to three. Kreider, by the way. And then Kreider scores an empty netter. Five to three. Ooh. And by the way, Kreider's on fire again. That's the guy you need. You do. You do. I still, I, I, I'll be honest with you, Pops. Yeah. Like, you, you, you know, this team, I feel like with the, the, the you know, the struggles that, and I know, and, I, and I'm not going to eat my own words here, because I've said this. Yeah. You know, for quite some time, with all the sports right there, is that I know that the Rangers aren't going to go. They have a caliber of talent on this they team. They do. They do. And that they that for them to have a terrible season is unlikely. But I just, I will stick with my guns here. I don't feel like they're going to have a season where if they make the playoffs. Yeah. I don't see them doing. I don't see them getting out of the first round. And I know it's early. I know it's yeah, early, yeah, yeah. but I just well, I can see them get out. But but the way the Devils are go playing and the Islanders and the Bruins, who knows? By the way, they got rid of their defenseman Ryan Reeves today. He got traded. This is a great question for Permadirt right here. What? About what? He says this brings up a good topic. How superstitious are you guys with sports? See, he's making a face right there, but Permadon, I can tell you this much. I'm a little bit. You know what I talked about the Giants playing on those games, like Sunday night, Monday night? 
Those, Those but I, I okay. I will give you super perma dirt. I will give you the superstitious right here version of yours truly, Mr. Whiskers. Uh, in 2007, when the Giants made their 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 run to the Super Bowl, when halftime hit, right, we had a big party at your mm. house, right, pops? I'm not kidding. You know, I think there was a fucking keg involved. I don't. I don't no. No. Well, I'm just saying. There was say, a lot of beer and booze, though. There was a lot going on. A lot of food. Pop and cake. Cutting up the mozzarella cheese. Apples. Pickles. Freaking crackers. Fucking, you know. Yeah. He had cheddar. Um, pears. Like, we, Nobody really ate that much. They were, we're drinking. Yeah, we went a little wild. We right, went a little wild. Well, what's the superstition? Halftime comes around. I didn't watch the... Uh, the show, mm-hmm. I watched a little bit of it, but I went, you know, I went upstairs into the bathroom and closed the door, locked it, and just basically got down on my hands and knees. <laughs> got down on my knees and I prayed. And I was like, God, if you give me this moment, you should never pray for that. Papa K, let the Giants win this Super Bowl. Why not? Why? Why? Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever happens, happens. No, but but yeah, okay, I get that. But why? Why not? Because yeah. it's sports. Anything it happen. was yeah, it's but it was. Happen. Here's the here's the reason why I say it was okay for me to pray for that moment because you and I, as a new Giants fan to a lifetime Giants fan, we had a moment that we will never forget. No, it was we were always. Superstitious. It Remember, will always, we, yes. We stood by the door. We stood in the we corner. Yeah, move. it didn't end at halftime. Fourth quarter, Pops and I stayed in the one corner by the door, the front door to enter the house, yeah. while we watched the screen. Never moved. Everybody else is up there like this, like right, right in the screen. <laughs> right there. Pop and K and I took a position. step back. I never moved. You never moved. Yeah. I Only fucking time we moved cried. It was to get a beer. I cried. Yeah. Tears of joy. Yeah. But again, I feel like it was okay for me to pray for that because we had a moment. It was a monumental moment. It was something that I'll never forget. It's something you'll never forget. We bought the DVD. We watch it from time to time. Yeah. That that it was such a huge moment in sports history in my life, yeah. and I think in your life to beat an undefeated team with the New England Patriots, yeah. eighteen yeah. and zero, we'll and one giant team. loss. Yeah, who beat us in the last game. That's what I said. It was a game where Strahan afterwards he retired. Yeah. So he retired as Super Bowl champion to go on. And they offered him 21, 23 yeah. million. But I respect him. He goes on and he's having a phenomenal career. Yeah. No, well, it was time for him to go. Yes. If I remember what he said on the, the sideline. full spread, permit dirt. Yeah, Final right score, out. 17 14. Remember? On the sideline? You believe it, it will happen. Yeah, and it did. And that was the final. So, yeah. Yeah, he was, oh, Australian was a great player. No, he finally, like I said, he got a lot of help. I got the, the jersey I have and that, and that, right there. Hold on, hold yeah, on. I know you have it. I know, I know, I know. I want to show chat. So, chat, this is what went down. When we won that Super Bowl in 2007, I requested a jersey. Now, we were considered the away game, correct? Oh, I don't know about I think it's in a home away in the Super Bowl. Super Bowl? Well, regardless. I remember I wanted the stray hand jersey, so I got this bad boy. Yeah. I like the blue bag. This was this this is two thousand seven right here, chat. Two thousand seven, I know, but I still I love this. What was Michael Strahan, ninety two. Okay. Ah. Okay, let me squeeze past you. Yep. Yeah, he was great. Yeah, he made the right move, though, because he knew uh, he, all he wanted was a ring. Love that jersey. And he knew that he was going to get those offers for television. He was my favorite defensive player of all time. Oh, mine was LT. LT, you know, we got Taylor up there. Yeah. He was the best defensive in life I ever saw, and till this day, ever saw. Parmadur coming in saying that's an awesome memory. Strahan stomped him out. Yeah. yeah. He, and he was on oh, he was fire. The, he was the leader of that team. He was. He was the captain. He was the leader. He was the leader of both offense and defense. 
You know, he got everybody fired up. No, I agree with you on that. Even though he didn't play on the offensive side of the ball, it was his energy that he brought to the team. It's players like that that change momentums of games. You got to remember, the Patriots were what eighteen and zero. They averaged thirty five points or better a game. We held them to fourteen. And by the way, that fourteen, that last touchdown, our defender slipped, and that's how he got the TD. He doesn't slip. Maybe that doesn't even happen, but that it is what it is. It is Tyree what it is. Make, Tyree makes the greatest catch of all time, and then we knew right away. Plaxico, I knew right away. They had a secret play. Yeah, I knew right away because uh, Eli said they practiced that play with uh, Plaxico every damn practice, and all he did was go like this and boom. The minute he was here, the ball was in the air. Yeah, and you could tell just by how fucking Eli yeah. released it. It was perfect. It was, yeah. it was a perfect rainbow yeah. that could only fall into that corner of the end. And I still got worried because there was 37 seconds left. Yeah. You know, just like uh, Buffalo and KC last year, right? They left too much time on for the Mahomes. Permadown agreeing too, saying Strahan was a leader on both sides of the ball. Oh, without a doubt. Without yeah, a doubt. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. No, he was, Again, he was one of you know my 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 favorite defense. That's what you player. don't have anymore, guys like him. No, well, you, at, you know, at, you know, then after him, you know, e- even during that time too, there were defensive players that were phenomenal for the Giants, yeah. but even for other teams too. I mean, let's not let's not forget about um, Steelers. Mm-hmm. He does. Oh, oh. Pa, I can never say his name right. We're going back. Crazy hair. Palo, oh, Palo, Palomulu. Palomulu. Another very impacted. Yeah. Impactive. When it came to the defense, yeah. that guy was insane lights out. Yeah. No. Lights out. Um, Green Bay. Green Bay. Matthews. Yeah, Clay Matthews. Yeah. Clay Matthews. Yeah, those commercials there. TJ Watt. Yeah. Always hurt though. I know. But even, you know, he, another player that when he's out there, yeah. Very yeah. big, huge influence to the game. Yeah, no. One of the things that you always taught me, Pops, and one thing that I'll always live by, you, you know, because you're 100% right, is the game's won on the trenches, one. Yeah. And you, when you have these players that can really impact the game in that way. Yeah. Offensive, like you said, like, oh, the quarterback is the key. No. 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 But they sometimes they are. But no, they, no, they make, listen, they do impact, but... Yeah. I I'll give you an example. Patrick Mahomes is the difference. Their defense and offensive line. Defense is not that great. They Patrick allow a lot of points. Josh Allen. Yeah. They Again, they're supposed to be the best. Josh Eto. They, they were allowing too many points. You know, they were supposed to be the best this year. And they're not uh, living up to that yet. But, you know, when you've got a great quarterback, that even, you know, when the team's down 28-3 to and then wins, Tom Brady. Another guy. Great quarterback. No, no quarterback. Yeah. yeah. But you could see, though, with Tom Brady is the one problem with Tom Brady, and everybody will agree with me on this. I'm almost certain 99% of you will agree with me on this, is Tom Brady, phenomenal quarterback, unless that offensive line can't protect him. If that defensive line takes over, no, 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 it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. not. Yeah, come on. Give me four. Not like him. Give me four and a half seconds like he had with New England. And no, no, Pops, what I'm saying is Tom Brady's notorious that when that pocket collapses and he's getting sacked a bunch of times early on, yeah. his entire ego deflates. Yeah, well, that happens to a lot of quarterbacks. And I'm not saying it doesn't, but I'm just putting it out there is where he, he can make the difference or yeah. he'll be the difference. Yeah, yeah, because he's not a runner for, for one. No, he's a, he, he is a pocket quarterback. But you got to remember, uh, in the Patriots, all those championship years, yeah, one of the best offensive lines in, in football is. But again, even like, a, you know, you can look at the Dallas Cowboys when Ezekiel Elliott came up with yeah. Dak Prescott. That first season that it, uh, Elliott came up, mm-hmm. they had the best offensive line. Yeah. and In the guys, league. Yeah, and some guys are still there. Not just on one side. No. Across I, the I league. Give, I give credit to Jerry Jones. He drafted the entire offensive line. Yeah. Zach Martin, you know, a couple other guys. And they protected, uh, what's his name, the quarterback. And, and you they, look at it. the polls. For Elliott, he had over, well over a thousand yards rushing his rookie was, season. And it won the, even with that. No, I know. 
They, yeah. they had a poor defense. But this is where like you give credit where it's deserved and where oh, yeah, like, you yeah. know where their criticism the criticism needs was, to be. We put it there. All his defensive cornerbacks were terrible. Ooh, Parmentier coming in with Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis, yeah. Bam. Yeah. Parmentier, yeah, a yeah. sports sports genius yeah. as well. This man who was almost convicted of murder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. He, yeah, no, hey, it was a. It was in news history at the time. I know. I know. I just, yeah. I, I, I find it interesting that, like, you know, these are like the little, you know, not, not, not that I'm like complaining. Well, I was shocked that. because, yeah. you know, it was just like OJ, the greatest running back I ever saw. Oh at the time. yeah, yeah. I was, uh, you know, uh, accused of murder and acquitted because, to this day, folks, I still <coughs> think it was his son. OJ o- Simpson, he, he didn't just do running back either. I thought, I, I thought he was also like he was man of many talents. No, he was running back. Running back yeah. only? Basically, right. yeah. Yeah. He had talents doing commercials. <laughs> he had a lot of commercials. He was worth the fortune, the guy. Well, listen, Pops, let's take a break. Mm-hmm. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Mm-hmm. We're not done yet. I hope you guys aren't done yet. We uh, we just, uh, I noticed um, the, the mac and cheese, the crock pot mac and cheese is done. We might have to sample a little bit of it. Go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I want to check the hockey scores anyway. Check the hockey scores. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, meow. Yeah, man. Let's keep the Thanksgiving sports cast going. <laughs> Is that too much? You think that yeah, was too much? Too much yeah. It was a little too much? Yeah, a little yeah, yeah, too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, way too I, much. All right, well... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, meow.
All right, we're back, and you're watching the Pops and Whiz Sportscast. We're your host. My name is Mr. Whiskers, and to my right is Papa K. Coming up to the final section of the show here, we like to go a little bit longer on, uh, on Thanksgiving and uh, Thanksgiving Eve. I'm is sorry. Is it a big party night tonight? It's it is a big party night, night, yeah. Everybody's off. Then you go in tomorrow, and you're ready to eat your freaking... Yeah. Oh, I know I'm going to be going crazy. You know, I mean, that that uh, before before we get into any more discussion, I do want to give a shout out to RFM Royalty Free Music over on YouTube. That is the playlist that we use here. Uh, if you're curious to know or want to use any of uh, the songs that we use, I believe there's 14 songs in my playlist that I've taken from Royalty Free Royalty Free Music RFM. Uh, you can find it on the Mr. Whiskers channel under Copyright Free Music. It's its own separate playlist. Those are the songs that you hear tonight when we do our intro, our outro, and even our breaks. A big thank you to them for allowing us to use their music, having a bit of background noise to keep it going, and they have a great selection, not just the music that you hear here, but they have a selection of so many different genres as well. Be sure to check them out on YouTube. They are a, you know, again, just phenomenal to be able to play music and not get that strike. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, going forward, Pops, we have quite the board right now. And again, mm -hmm. to those that are watching, whether you just hopped in, whether you're still watching and haven't made your decisions, you have about 19 more minutes to choose tomorrow's games. Because once this show ends, see ya. Thanksgiving football games are on a lock. And again, those games are the Giants versus the Cowboys, the Vikings versus the Patriots, and the Bills versus the Lions. So those are the ones that are up there. Once tonight's show ends, those games are locked in. Whatever's on the board stays that way. And the other three games that you can choose between, which have to be in by Saturday evening, Eastern time at 5 p.m., you have the... Uh, Tennessee Titans versus the Cincinnati Bengals, the New York Jets versus the Chicago Bears, and of course the Kansas City Chiefs versus the LA Rams. Pops, what else do you want to get into tonight? Well, no, I just checked the uh, Google and uh, the Islanders are winning 3 0. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're going to win. Rangers are playing tonight at 10 30 in Anaheim, and uh, looks like the Devils might. Suffered their first loss in 13 straight games that they won. Wow. They're down 2 nothing late third. There you go. So, we'll see. Toronto finally. You know, Toronto, I don't know what the hell's going on with them. They have some real talent, but <laughs> they just, you know. Same with us, you know. Now, I was telling you the other night, Crider scored two goals, right? <clears throat> oh, shit. So, Permanent was asking, how is the mac and cheese? We didn't try it. We didn't try it. We got so we got so involved. Sorry. Sorry. Hold on. I'll be back. Pops, keep talking. I'll be back. Keep talking. I'll be back. What were you talking about, Toronto? Toronto, Toronto Maple Leafs. Yeah, right now they're winning two to nothing. But I don't know what the hell's going on with them. They're not scoring as much. They have a talented team. I think their issue is still goaltending. We'll see. Rangers. Finally, if they win tonight, they take three out of four on the road trip. That would be great because uh, Shesterkin is playing great. I don't know if he's going to play tonight. He, does, he usually doesn't do back-to-back. -back. If he has a lock in there tonight, which I don't trust them at all. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Mm. <laughs> Very good. Now he starts feeding me food. Now I'm hungry. Not bad. I never thought he would ever cook. Years ago, when he was a kid, I couldn't get him to eat. And now he's cooking. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, the Rangers, uh, the big guys start scoring, like Zabanajed and uh, Panarin and McCrider. Rangers are going to go far. But they got to score. Because if they start our lock, who well, hasn't won a game this year, by the way, we're in trouble. Put some heat on them tonight, early. Ooh, that is tasty. Yeah, that was very good, by the way. Yeah. 
I just gave a little bit to Jay Swift, and she was like, you know, a little bit more salt. Oh, it tastes fine to me. Was what she was, what she was feeling. Well, I'm not big on salt anyway anymore, so. Well, I used, um, so the recipe, and again, uh, for anybody that wants to attempt this in the crock pot, it takes about three hours, hour and a half on high, hour and a half on low. Um, varies depending upon your, your personal uh, likes and how you like your pasta, your, your elbow noodles, or whatever you decide to use in this, but... It is in the Discord, the recipe for this mac and cheese. If you want to make it for Thanksgiving tomorrow, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's a very easy setup. And you can get creative with the cheeses you want to use, but you can find it in the mm, food section of the mm -hmm. Mr. Whiskers Discord. Mm -hmm. So I have it posted there. That was that was pretty tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Sure. Tease me. Well, we're going to eat it tomorrow. I know. It's going to be... Uh, this is pretty damn good right now. <laughs> Couple of bell of lights, uh, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> Go. No, got what away. Oh, don't get too crazy. No, no. You got absolutely not. Permadark coming in saying goaltending forever a problem with the Leafs. Miss yeah. the days of Curtis Joseph and Ed uh, Belfour. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember them well. Yeah, that's the problem. They can score. But I mean, I've seen them lose games 5 4, you know, 6 5, 4 3. That can't happen. When you score four goals in the NHL, in my opinion, you got to win the game. I agree with that. I mean, you know how hard it, how hard it is to score? Like yesterday, the Rangers were down 2 nothing right away. I figure, oh, shit, here we go. They're going to lose. Score three goals. You know, then they tied it up, and okay, we got uh, we got back. I just, uh, you know, there, there, there's certain things, again, that concern me. Permadirt saying goaltending, uh, that's the most important position. Yeah. Especially, uh, goaltending is the most important position, especially in playoffs. Oh, without a doubt. That's one thing, Permadirt, that, you know, I, I, you know, anybody that watches the show, right? That's one thing we talk about. When it comes to the playoffs, I mean, you're 110% correct. Who is the hot goaltender going in? And, and I felt like last season with the Rangers yeah. that I felt that we had the hot goaltender. Yeah, well, I was wrong. Yeah, the guy was hotter. Yeah. You know, uh, Vasilevsky. You know, our guy lost. We we were losing games two to one in the playoffs, so he wasn't bad. The other guy was better. Yeah. Because we couldn't score, and we were scoring five goals a game in that in that entire year, and you couldn't score in the playoffs. Remember, we had a 2 nothing lead. Won both games at the Garden. And then that Game 3 was the clincher. We were up 2 nothing and lost. I think there's one thing. I saw I saw this since we're on the topic of hockey. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can bring this up. I saw this on, uh, on TikTok a little while ago. It might take me a second to find. Oh, the macaroni and cheese was great. Mm. Yeah, you like that? Yes. That, 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 that makes me smile. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> let's lower that. Uh, where is it? There was one thing I saw I thought was absolutely phenomenal. All right, hold on. Is the guy holding a puck? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on, chat. Give me two seconds here. Let me see if I can pull this up. Let's see if we can make this a little bit better. Uh, we got Permadirt saying, look at uh, Bennington for St. Louis when they won the cup a couple of years ago. We're going to miss playoffs, and he came in, and the team did at one uh, did a 180. Yeah, he's right. Yeah. But that happened then. He hasn't been the same since. All right, hold on. How can I? How how do I learn? Yeah, it's major about goaltending. Like uh, Ken Danico says, he was the defenseman for the uh, Devils. He goes, you gotta have two guys on defense that keep the puck away from the goalie. Oh, here we go. And they were the best ever. Him and Scott Stevens. All right, here we go. Hold on. Let's let's put it under this. Let's do a little bit of this action. Because I want to be able to bring this up the right... Okay, okay, this looks good. Pops, can you see that okay? Yep. All right. 
chat, check this out. I, I found this to be absolutely phenomenal. What did he show? Look at the puck handling on this dude. Here. No, I can see it. I can see distance. Okay. Check this out. Is he a professional? Hold on. Why, why can't I play it? Hold on. Hold on. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I think I know what I did there. Hold on, ready? That's right, you give the hockey players credit. They can handle that puck on the ice. It's swishing around like nothing. All right, all right, all right, hold on. Here we go. This is, this, this will be a little bit better. Let me, uh, let me set this up. Just to skate is hard. Never mind uh, keeping the uh, puck on your stick. Can you see that okay? Yeah, he ain't doing nothing. Look at this. Check this out. Yeah, but he's not on the ice. I know. But look at look at the stick handling here. Yeah, but it's different when you're on the ice. I get pops. I get that. Can you not admit that that's impressive? No, it's not. That's not impressive. No. No, you gotta be on the ice. I. <sighs> okay. Okay. That means nothing. Okay. You know how slippery that puck is on the ice and his oh. balance? Oh. Totally different scenario. Chat. Chat. You didn't, you didn't think that was impressive at all? Not at all. No, show me a guy on skates that can do that. It means nothing to me. He's, he's got he's got his uh, whatever sneakers. He on. is juggling a puck with a stick. No matter. And then he shoots it and he hits the top left, yeah. top shelf. When, when you're on the ice, totally different story. Permanent saying it's impressive. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah, I get it. On on the ice, it's no, different. No, no. We're totally different. Totally different. You're, on you're the not ice. impressed at all. No. 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 If he did that on the ice, yeah. I thought I was showing you something that might blow yeah, your but mind. You, you gotta show me when the guy's on ice. <sighs> Not. Wow, you are all crowd. hard. No, no. Hard no, crowd no. bleeds over here, Pops. Talking okay, Pops over here. Like, you know, I'm telling you. Different but impressive. Yeah, it, it is impressive. Yeah, show me the guys in the NHL when they do that. that they juggle a puck on the ice. They're phenomenal. What yeah, he no, did wasn't great. Saying, I'm saying no. the, the moves. No, ah, no, wow. no. Yeah. You see the guys on uh, on the ice with the puck? <laughs> I mean, ah. they, they could flick the puck to the referee like it's nothing. We got Goonie Bean in the chat the coming he in. <laughs> Bob's, Bob's is aggressively coming out there already and saying, look, it takes more than fancy schmancy stick work to impress Bob's. Says Goonie Absolutely B. Absolutely right. Goonie B, how you doing this evening? I hope you're having a good time. Oh, yeah, Goonie B. You want to get in on Pops oh, no, Picks? Oh, no, he hasn't been in any. Doesn't matter. Well, I'm just saying, it's kind of late. It doesn't it's matter. If he late. wants to, in his own sense, okay, to see what kind of record he can put together, we don't no. exclude no one. Never catch up. It's way too late. No, no, he, he's not going to catch up to uh, where we're doing with the giveaways, but still. In the sense of it, Goonie B is a sports fanatic as well, just to see what he's capable of pulling off this week. Let's go! Okay. <laughs> Blue Monkey cracking up over here. This is precisely why I love watching the Wiz and po Pops and Wiz show. For moments like these. Yeah. Not the Wiz and Pops, Blue. It's the Pops and Wiz. Oh, I don't need, I don't need <laughs> the lead title. The other show. No, 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 no. These are Pops picks. This is yeah, the Pops yeah, Away Sportscast. Yeah, yeah, nonsense. I'll lead the gaming. You ain't got to worry about that there, Papa K. Mm -hmm. But it, it, this is just how the show oh, works. Okay, I'm looking at the title. It says Pops Away Sportscast. He's, he's the star of the show. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> he got me on the show. I know nothing. I know nothing. I said nothing. Pops, would you consider yourself a live streamer? No, hell no. But you are. And yeah. you've been for like three yeah, years. Yeah, that's on this show. Almost four. Mm -hmm. January before. Everywhere you go, everybody <laughs> knows. 
That Pops is a live streamer. We're doing Pops Picks Chat. We're having fun. It's a fact. <laughs> do 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 ba ba dee da ba. You know, by the time we get to your mother in laws, the game is going to be half over. First game. Yeah, well, I mean, listen. Hopefully the Bills will be romping. <laughs> That's a big game. If they won the division, they got to win this game because if they lose and Miami wins on Sunday, they're back on the outside looking in. They got to they gotta play a little better defense. I don't know what the hell's going on with them. Who? Bills. They were supposed to be the number one defense. They haven't shown it. No. Who would you who would you consider the number one defense so far this season? Oh my God! You got uh you got uh, uh, throw the Cowboys in there. Uh, I got them on my fantasy team. Yeah, you got. I would say you got to throw. Uh, I don't say Philly, but close. I think they're right there. Would uh, you say that they're halfway there? Oh, the Jets. That they're living on a prayer. Living on a prayer. Uh, bon Take my hand Jets. and we'll make it, I swear. Jets and the Giants, pretty good defense, both of them. I mean, the Jets allowed three points last week. Three points and let a special team's touchdown be destroy them. them. Yeah. Yeah. With 30-some seconds to go. Hold on, let me catch up with Chad here. Permadirt saying, these are classic moments. Thank you, Perm. Goonie B coming in saying, I'm so disconnected from the NFL right now. It'd be all random at this point. Well, feel free to join in. Pop K, Pops Picks over here. We have on the board this one. Hold on. Let me bring it up. Let me bring it up for Goonie B to see. The man, the myth, the legend. Well, he just said he's not into it. He said that. I didn't say that. That's why I just said it. He said it. Yeah, it's still fun. Yeah. Well, like, I mean, how, how, how much do you have to be into it to have fun? I love well, hockey. I haven't yet. followed a game this season. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so like, I mean, like, would it? Do we? Do you literally have to watch it till your eyes bleed to to, to, yeah. to enjoy it? Yeah, yeah. You're insane. Yeah. He's insane. I mean, they're playing in California, and I'm watching the games at ten thirty at night. Yeah, but see, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Fair point. Fair How many point. guys do that? Your brother, maybe. Yeah, but you're retired. That's not fair. He's not. And he watches the games. Yeah, but he has four days off during the week. Well, regardless, he still watches the games. He's a hockey fan. You trying to talk shit about me, Pops? No, not at all. I feel like this is... I don't think you're as big a hockey fan as me and Sean are. You'd be right. I'm a bigger NFL fan. Right. I would definitely, if I was to put it in a, in a standings, NFL would be number one. Yeah, yeah. Baseball, number two. Yeah. Hockey would be number three right now. And that that, that, that varies. That varies. Yeah. I feel like NFL is always number one. Well, to me, I uh, enjoy watching more than anything a hockey game. Baseball, boring. Football, yes. It's between football and hockey. Because oh. hockey is so fast. There's always something happening. Hold on a second. We got, uh, let's see, Permadirt says, do you guys ever go to Rangers or Giants games? Um, Not anymore. It ha it's been a while. I can't take Pops to a game because he's been spoiled, and I can't afford the tickets that he's, the seats that he's used to sitting in. Because, yeah. like me, I'll be in the bloody nose section with, like, a, a Kleenex no, and no, my binoculars, no, no, and no, Papa no. K's sitting, like, on the 50-yard line, you know, that uh, five famous. rows back. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I was like, yeah, I've offered. I was like, yeah, Pops, you want to go see a game? He's like, where are we going to watch it from? I said, you know the blimp that flies around once in a while? <laughs> I said, we'll yeah. be in the back row of that. And he's like. Why should I go to a game where the, in football <laughs> they look like ants? Come on. It's called binoculars. So you get uh, really, no, really, no, no. really, uh, really, I, really I strong glasses. I could be in my glasses. house on a big screen TV watching it and not have to pay $12 for a beer. Sorry. In uh, uh, Ranger history, it's fifteen fifty a beer. No, no, sorry. Ain't well, you're allowed to wear a hat to the game, right? Yeah. But what if we're allowed to bring like the beer hats that have like the cup holders with the straw that comes yeah, down? Yeah, but you can't wear beer in. We don't have to tell them it's beer. They check you at the gate. But it's a hat. Doesn't matter. No, it should. They check you like you're going. Uh, Is there any plane. fine print? No, they give you the scan. Bah, 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 bah. Why you gotta punch the fan? 
Hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on. Uh, we got. The, we we used to go to games apartment there, and again, I think we will go to uh, you know it's something at some point. Never. Unless I get front row. You if you can afford four hundred fifty dollars to arrange a ticket. Twitch, seriously, something needs to happen here. I need to become a partner and make the kind of money to get this man the seats that he oh, desires. No, no, no. Last game we went to was what? Seattle? <laughs> we were uh, tailgating Seattle and the Giants. Yeah. And uh, they beat us on a late interception by Eli. No, no. I was upstairs. I, was, I can't see this. I'm watching the damn screen. I could do that at home. Right. No. Working no. on it, man. I mean, I enjoyed the tailgate. Believe me, I did. That was the last Listen, one. Listen, how about sucked. this? When you when you hit the mega millions or I become famous That's on different. Twitch, then That's we'll like you know it, it, whichever one happens first, we'll buy the uh, the, the yeah. insanely priced well, tickets. Well, the first thing I'll do is buy Ranger season tickets and uh, invite you and Dan and Larry, and Ooh. we'll be uh, front row, right behind the glass, right behind the Ranger bench. We got uh, Permadirt State, New England, Tampa Bay, San Francisco, and Jets. Solid defense. Goonie B coming in saying, all right, I'll give it a try. Permadirt, I do I do agree with you on that. I, I'd put the Giants in there, too. They're pretty solid. I mean, they're, they were ranked. They were ranked number second in stopping teams in the red zone. Uh, let's see. Permadirt says, or Yankee games. Pops loves the luxury. I know. He's spoiled. He's spoiled. Yeah. Yeah. Every time my good friends took me to a game. We're ground level. No, no second, no oh. upper deck, no bleaches. Hell no. I'll tell you, Pops, Pops, can I, can I throw you under the bus for a second? Go ahead. You guys have spo uh, spoiled Papa K as well. Because like when we start the show, if no one's talking within the first 15 minutes, he's like, where is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, everybody comes in. I feel like maybe they're teasing you a little bit, Pops. The only seat I would sit in the Yankee Stadium is the mezzanine. First row, where it's covered in case it rains. And the sun. But boy, downstairs, right behind third base and first base, beautiful seats. And I mean that in a way of like, I know that you love know. shooting the shit with everybody. I know, I know. You know, I didn't mean that in a... Uh, and believe me, again, once I said, what well, you said, it's ultra expensive. I can't afford to go to these games. No, it is. I mean, uh, you buy yeah. a hot dog, a beer, oh. and a cheesy pretzel, and and, 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 and then you had to sell your car afterwards. Thirty-five dollars right away. A Hold ticket. On. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. A ticket. And uh, if you go to mezzanine, like uh, Dan used to take me, that was one hundred ninety-six dollars many years ago. God only knows what it is now. Yeah. It's the second deck, mezzanine, front row, with you great seats, but you're not downstairs. No. It's probably double that already. Goonie B coming in saying, Titans, Vikings, uh, that last second W a couple of weeks ago was nuts. Bills, because LOL at the Lions, Jets, Cowboys, and Kansas City. So Goonie's coming in with Titans. Yeah. You make sure that we put Goonie in the book. Well, it'll be in the book next week. Exactly. All right. And he is going Vikings. Okay. Loser. Whoa! <laughs> I'm only kidding. I think the Vikings are done. Uh, okay, hold on, Vikings. No, they're not. Bills, Jets. Okay, hold on, hold on, Bills. Let's get Goonie in here. No, I don't say they're done. They'll make the playoffs, but they're going to go nowhere. I never trust okay. uh, Kirk Cousins. Bills, Jets. Hold on a second. And then we have the Cowboys and KC for the Goonie B. No, you picked all games. Good yeah. show. I like it. I like it. Ooh, we child. Things are going to get. I don't know why that popped into my head. Good song. <laughs> all <laughs> right. Look, Pops, look at this board so far. No, it's not as full as the week before, but. Well, that's because it's more spread out. I'm sweaty, never pick. Well, you might have to go to bed. Yeah, but he's off. There's no school till Monday. Still, he, he, everybody gets tired. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, just like you get... Nobody still <laughs> picked Detroit, the Rams, or Chicago. <laughs> wow. Let's see. Uh, hold on. We said Permadirt got... Uh, I took in a Vikings game just before COVID in 10th row of the end zone. It was awesome. Ow! 
I don't even like Enzo seats either. You know why? Because when they're on the other side of the field, can't see crap. I remember going to Giant Games in 76. Pops, it's called binoculars. We didn't have binoculars. You just but do, you do you, one of these. When you sat in the one side of the end zone, the best seats I had in Giant Stadium, upper deck, first row, 50-yard line. I, I can see the whole damn field. I can see clearly now the Great rain song, is Johnny down. Johnny Nash. Oh, <laughs> binoculars showing me all of the plays. What? It's never enough. It's a great song, by the way. On a scale of one to ten, how did I sing it? Oh, yeah, uh, four. All right, so you know there's room, room, for room for improvement. Room for improvement. You're saying I have a chance. I can see you. You have a softer voice. Great voice. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. All right. I'm going to go and watch the Rangers. Pops is gonna go and watch the Ranger game. Well, they're in Anaheim. This scares me tonight because they played last night. They had to travel. Ten so thirty start. We hope do that. You start Shesterkin or you uh, start Halak? Shesterkin. I bet you he doesn't. Uh, maybe he does, but I'm just saying. If I if I was in charge, that's I what I'm too. starting. Yeah, yeah. Halak has done awful for them. Yeah. After this, they got uh, you know, they come back home. So they probably you know won't play till Sunday. If I catch this peanut, yeah, the Rangers win tonight. Ready? Okay. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. See. Yeah. Nice. You. Oh, what'd you say about superstition? It didn't hit the floor yet. So Great technically, song, by the way. By who? Very superstitious. Who sang it? I did. Who I wrote was, it. Who sang it? No, I wrote it. No, you did. They stole it from me. Yeah. You weren't born yet when that song came out. Yeah, because my spirit put right, the, right. the... Who sang it? Chad, I need some help here. All right, who sang it? Very superstitious. All right, that time it hit the floor. Yeah, okay. Shit. That. All right, so the Rangers going to lose because I didn't catch don't the say, Don't say that because maybe Halak has a big game. How much do you believe in what you just said? That the Rangers win the game? That Halak has a big game. 50%. Not a whole lot of faith. No, I know. Yeah. I don't. Uh, because I, think, I missed a peanut, you're like, don't say I, it. But, you, you, it. You, but see, your my my mind was based on a don't peanut. Don't forget, odds are he's, he hasn't uh, won a game. Excuse he's me. two for one, right? He's not playing the best team in the planet, in the Anaheim Ducks. So maybe, you know, if the Rangers score early and If fast. sports has taught us anything, <laughs> the Giants lost to the Detroit Lions. Yeah. And I was scared about that game. Because I told you last week, Detroit could score. And if the giant defense was to play well, which they didn't, and the offense obviously can't score. Let's <laughs> see what I say. <laughs> Get some people cracking up in chat right now. Blue Monkey coming in and say, that sucks for the Rangers not knowing that their whole entire career is based on a guy catching a peanut. <laughs> no, no, that's not true. No, if the Rangers win It was tonight, one game. No, no, Blue Monkey. It was one game. Yeah, if the Rangers win tonight, Matthew, they'll go ahead of the Islanders. No, they won't. Islanders won. Hey, Google. And not a guy. It's the Islanders game. The coolest cat on Twitch. The black cat of the night. The guy. The cat. The holy shit. The... Oh! My! Go! Hey, Google. What's the score in the Islanders game? I couldn't find it in the recent... <laughs> I wonder if Google caught that. that. What is she telling me? Baltimore Orioles. I said the Islanders. <laughs> it's because I'm screaming in the background. Hey, Google. What's the score in the Islanders game? <laughs> Currently, the Islanders are leading the Oilers 3-0. to zero <laughs> Okay. That game's off. That game's starting at 730. It's got to go. He's like, why can't they hear me? Because I'm your son. <laughs> and I'm yelling in the background. I'm a very audible person. That's why. Oh, Permita coming in saying Stevie Wonder? Yep. I can see clearly now. now the no, superstition. Oh. I've yeah. sang a lot of songs. Johnny Nash today. was, uh, I can see clearly. Probably why we keep getting <laughs> muted. Because I don't shut up. Yeah, Stevie Wonder. 
Well, Pops. Big song. You got anything else you want to add to I'm done. I'm going home and watch the Rangers. He's ready to go home and watch the Rangers. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. We hope you have a fantastic Thanksgiving tomorrow. And again, for those, like, well, we're going to be taking a picture of this uh, mac and cheese. We're going to take pictures of our spread tomorrow as we go over to my mother-in-law's house. Um, and uh, for those that are interested and want to do so as well, share with us the things that you'll be enjoying this Thanksgiving. We hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening. We hope you have a fantastic holiday. And we will be back next week at some point. Things may change up a little bit, but let me tell you something. We will always, always... Find a way to get this show going. And the gaming streams might change up a little bit. But as always, take care, everybody. We love you guys. Be oh, safe. Thanks, Evan. If you're going to drink, drink responsibly. And, yeah. uh, and eat responsibly. Make sure that you eat responsibly. <laughs> do, 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 do. Pour gravy. On everything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Eat plenty of stuffing. Oh, my God. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I gotta watch Perry Mason. Have, have a not, happy Thanksgiving. Cheers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what do you think? Not bad. Not bad. Kind of just made, I, I used a little I Elvis that there. No, but <laughs> I don't know either. Mm. We see you got Goonie B with a clip there. Oh my God! Goonie saying Happy Thanksgiving, fellas. Permanent. Have a great Thanksgiving to all of our southern neighbors. Little buddy saying Great stream, guys. As always, Happy Thanksgiving to you folks. We'll post some photos of the spread. Can't wait to see nice, it. Take nice, care, everybody. Nice. We love you guys. Do 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 do.